Brand new bit on the radio show. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Nathaniel and maybe some of the other guys. I'm not really sure. Oh. Who should get credit for this? No, no, they're shaking their heads. Uh Uh-oh. All Nathaniel? They don't want credit for this. They don't want any credit. It's, uh... Here's Than. Than? It's a new bit called Bombs and Flubs. Bombs and Flubs. Yes, people bombing on the show. Yeah. And people flubbing on the show. Flubbing their words and and just bombing with jokes. And what pisses me off under the flub section, (laughs) it's all me and Jimmy. Uh, Anthony talks perfectly. No, I've had my share, that's for sure. Well, they couldn't find one, Anthony. It's just what I happen to record. They yes. couldn't find uh, one example of you flubbing a line I or flubbing a word. How about pundit? You didn't get that I know. One. I know. That's a perfect that one. That was a good one. Somewhere. Right, well, this That'll is, be in volume two. Yeah, this is this is the start of a new bit. Which isn't all that far off. <laughs> pundit. Pundit. Yeah, I must have heard that wrong years ago, and it just stuck. I noticed there's a lot of examples from last week's show. Did you... <laughs> well, I did notice there was a, a mandate put out about uh, wanting more of these, this sort of thing, but yes, mm. it's a lot from last week. You know you've been doing this show for nine months, right? That's what I heard. <laughs> okay. And you got a week. You know how I know that? <laughs> well, it's a new yeah. bit, so it'll, it'll grow from here. Yeah. We like uh, to see the beginning of some of these bits, and then they take on a life of their own. Right. But here's Nathaniel's uh, bombs and flubs. Here's the first bomb from Anthony. Oh, this was a rape joke that went horribly wrong, I believe. <laughs> if you could believe it. <laughs> he was talking to Paul's wife. Uh, Paul's wife, okay. You know, the, the couple that came in last week and yeah. used great radio? Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Police arrested seven men who allegedly kidnapped and gang raped a married woman in retaliation for her cousin's affair with one of the suspect's daughters. What a deal. Wow. Yeah. One suspect was angered over a relationship between his 17-year-old daughter and the victim's 20-year-old cousin, so him and his friends got together and fucked their mom. <laughs> okay. I hear she uh, blew the whole thing, though, by yeah. actually accepting it and just going through with it. It's not rape, it's okay. It ruined it for them because they wanted to rape her, and she just, you know, agreed with it. And Yeah, where am I going? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It was fun just watching you meander down uh, that dead end. I, out of my peripheral vision, I just see Jimmy's teeth, so I know he's smiling. Yeah. And like, oh, I'm just uh, I got here. Here. How much longer am I going to keep this fucking... Scotty, what's up? One wheel left on that car. <laughs> oh, I was working the controls. I was trying to keep that joke airborne. I have no elevator control whatsoever. Uh, nothing. I went in, in flames. Oh, this is great. Oh, did that hurt. Bombs and flubs. The next bomb is from our own Ben. Ben. Good old Ben made, <laughs> made the bomb. Nah, I, I bombed. Jim, were you upset that Ozzy didn't play Live 8? Yeah. Hold on, sir. What? Are you upset that Ozzy didn't play Live 8? No, I heard it. I just wanted to bomb twice. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> oh, by the way, because uh, Jimmy smiles and goes, what? <laughs> like, just waiting for him to do it again so he could turn it around. Oh, he wound right up and threw it again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is really funny. These are funny. <laughs> oh, and you take them completely out of uh, context here and throw them in. No, this is gonna, God damn, this is going to be a great new bit on the show, Nathaniel. Yeah, good job, Booth, not taking any credit for this. Yeah. <laughs> Smart move. All right, the next bomb is from Colin. Good old Colin Quinn. Sounds like when Frank used to show up on Carson. Yeah. You know, he'd just pop in, <laughs> sit on the couch, talk a little, and then you think you think he's going to just slide over? Yeah. And let, like, uh, George <laughs> Goebel sit down and have an interview? No, he's getting up, he's leaving. He's too busy. No one's like Frank, too. Frank Gorshin, that is, dead. <laughs> That's exactly what you should leave on. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, these are real bombs. Look at that fucking old man. That's the first Frank reference he can yank out. <laughs> Guy's been on TV since 1968. <laughs> this is like a blooper uh, show. Oh, a blooper reel. The gag reel. I like it. All right. Here's that was my favorite part of Cannonball Run when they just show the floor. Oh, at the end. Where they were supposed to say one thing, but Dom DeLuise is blowing a guy who's bringing him his food <laughs> in the room. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. Your line isn't, <laughs> you're so young. <laughs> <laughs> and Burt Reynolds goes to tip his cap and it's his wig and some skin comes up <laughs> good day to you Ow. gets mad and punches the craft services girl right in the face <laughs> alright here we go with uh, old Jimmy Norton's bomb this couldn't be a bomb 
I bet you they you had a wide Tuesday out. joke, did you? Huh? I bet you there were big laughs. They took him out. Probably. In post. You had a wide 2K joke, did you? One of the problems that they were saying was going to happen was that the computer systems were going to backdate 100 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, the old one flip, they would have went back to 1901. 1900. And I said, that's going to be great. It's going to help me in my big court case. What are they going to do? Prosecute me for having sex with a girl who's 114? <laughs> yeah. Had a lot more. No. Ah. Oh, no. I, no. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> that but was a good one. Wouldn't that make her <laughs> younger? Well, it didn't make perfect mathematical sense. <laughs> yeah, because I would have happened. Like, right when I got that, it's like if, if she was 14 in the year 2000, let's say. If it was then 1900, she's not even <laughs> born yet. Well, let's be yeah. happy that you weren't in the audience. <laughs> the three years I was doing it beforehand. They were talking about Y2K since, you know, 1971. So. Yes, they were. Wow. Glad I brought that up. How will it affect your Pong game? We'll tell you. <laughs> let's, uh... 71? No. Double bomb. <laughs> nice. I was a. I I piggybacked onto your bomb bit. My my. I was going down in flames, and you decided just to get in the cockpit with me. I was jumping in. Hey, it looks toasty in there. <laughs> I'm a little hurt, by the way. Anthony has one bomb and zero flubs. I kind of have two bombs, though. I was a bomb in that one. Yeah. My pong joke didn't go over very well. I didn't. It was overshadowed by Jimmy's bomb a little bit, but here's uh, bombs and flubs. Another bomb. Little Jimmy Norton again. Aww. All right, we get it. He's chugling along. Yeah, Did you get that instant like feedback? More minutes. Play "Keep on Chugling." It was from uh, John F at Yahoo dot com. <laughs> it's John Fogarty, of course. Huh? I got it. <laughs> Didn't help that I got it. But... <laughs> not oh, help. do I suck? <laughs> you know, when you're live on the air like this, you throw them out and just hope they connect, and sometimes they just don't, Jimmy. We under we all understand. We gotta do another one. Nervous, uh, nervous listeners is another one. Maybe. Oh yeah, another one that go getters could take up. Who wants to run with that one in that office, huh? Travis, I've already huh? started a list Danny? myself. Maybe I can hand it off to one of the oh, other Oh, oh Delegating <laughs> responsibility <laughs> now. Look at him. One, one of my inferiors, maybe. You yeah. have oh. you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's bombs and flubs. Well, we could we could just go to the next one. We'll, we'll skip right. this. What? what? Why is that? What? There's I, no skipping. What? what? There's no skip skipping one. Nathaniel's hard work. What? What? What, what happened? I'd rather not skip. I right. want to hear it. How did you know it was the gay crew? Just circle, just circled St. Vincent's. <laughs> just circled the Statue of Liberty and <laughs> and pointed at the Statue of Liberty and said, "That's a woman." No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, two glove gloves. That was a boat crash. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, you, know, you know what it was? I should have just enjoyed your your. It was uh, taking too long line. to get to. You were going, well, like you're circling well, and I saw you going, oh, shit. Man. Well, you kind of threw me off. I had a really good line, and then you killed with that line, and then I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I, in the middle why? of it, I'm like, why am I even doing this now? <laughs> why? <laughs> Comedy is all about timing. I'm like, I, I knew as soon as I started, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why? <laughs> Wow, that is so funny having to explain it and being there all red faced. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, I'm just circling the statues. Uh, uh, the statue of Liberty. Ah! <laughs> Whenever you pluralize something, you have to make it singular. Yeah. Very hard to cover. Arr! Arr! <laughs> wow, that was rough. Yeah, uh, that was very uncomfortable. We've all been there. All been there. Uh, here's uh, another bomb from British Paul. Is that his name on the show now, British Paul? I don't know. Yeah, roll that. No, they just felt like. Uh, there was nothing moving him around. Like, like dead oh. weight? Yeah. Was it like holding arms, those thin, <laughs> muscleless calves? <laughs> Two white shoes on? Those fucking nurse shoes? Useless shoes. <laughs> never, the soles never get yeah. dirty. Pristine sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Still have that, like, new sticker on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> They're treasure <tragically> clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was imagining that scene from I'm Gonna Get You Sucker where the girl puts her legs up on the, on the nightstand. <laughs> But they were real. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fucking Obi just fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, describing sex with a lady that's paralyzed yeah. from the waist down there. Mm -hmm. All right, we got another bomb from uh, British Paul. Finishing up the bomb section of the bombs and flubs bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> so how did you did you kind of think like, hmm, this is perplexing because if she's numb down there, what the hell am I supposed to do? If she says that's a huge fucking dick when it's in there. I'll be like, hmm, wonder if she's lying. You know? <laughs> 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 so he's definitely be lying. <laughs> oh, I love when they bomb. Very good. How did Kev not get any bombs? Wow. It's what did you go back a week? You just went a week, didn't you? Well, because we just uh, kind of came up with this thing. Gonna have to really go through the history of the uh, time we've been here. Drudge okay. up some of those old bombs. Because yeah, this uh, this is a great new bit. It really is. I like it. There's some uh, the flubs. Go back a little farther. All right. All right. Now here's some flubs, Anthony, from the show. Here's old Jimmy Norton. Jimmy? The, the flubs are all Jimmy and I. That's it. Really? No, Anthony. I know. I and no funny. one else from the show. Ant does weigh in on one and flub in the process. So. Oh, goody. Oh, oh I, uh, can we guess which one here? No, I'm oh, just... Oh, well. Leave it teased. Right. Flubs. Uh, Eric Logan sent out an ass email about these, uh, <laughs> these tapes, and he said that uh, she's having a tough time at the breakup. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That might have been better if I didn't say he sent out an ass email. <laughs> an ass email. Yeah, did say that. <laughs> uh, uh, an ass email. Yeah, I remember that one. That's technically everyone that Logan sends out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look, you recouped right here. Yeah, a month right. later. All right, here's another one from Jimmy. That's great. A Detroit auto walker. Uh, I, uh, oh, no. I had Ivan right, De- Ivan Demyanyuk was the name I was. Yeah, I right, remember. right. There you go. Of course, but I couldn't get Detroit auto worker. <laughs> and the Detroit auto worker named Ivan Demyanyuk. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> auto worker. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, here's myself flubbing away. The bleeps aren't cursed, are they? No. I mean, the the bleeps, bleeps aren't cursed. cursed. The curses yes, they are. are. Yes. Stay away yeah. from the bleeps. They are cursed. <laughs> They've been damned. <laughs> you got a little uh, mixed up there. Uh, happens every day, actually. Here's Jimmy. As you're blowing out your 80th birthday cake candles, a couple of large men come in with clubs and push your face into it <laughs> until your feet stop moving. What are gloves? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds uh, that Connor and Lacey make. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Hey, Flub, but came back wow, strong. Wow, you certainly did, Jimmy. You came back strong. That's been a great joke until you're blowing out your 80th birthday candles and some men push your face into the cake until you die. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, but I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Wish I could have got that one out. Yeah. Good one. Conceptually a gem. Back to me. If you want to see the epitome of an absolutely... <laughs> epitome. Oh, epitome, sorry. Epitome. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Wow. Epitome. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. Oh. All right, well... Anthony's perfect, so we go back to Jimmy. No, I know I got plenty. We were just kidding when we, we simulated the home invasion. We didn't really rape his rife wife. Oh, oh. <laughs> rape his rife? We didn't rape his rife. We didn't rape his rife. I dive up for us. Uh, you you bribe us. 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 <laughs> you actually just said it right. I know. <laughs> you stinking. What are we in Taiwan? What the hell? God, wake his wife. I don't know. I just I was so eager to spit that one out. My yes, little rotten are. thin lips wouldn't open fast enough. <laughs> you were stumbling through that line right from the beginning. You could hear him like you were constantly <laughs> trying to catch up with your tongue. <laughs> Back to me. Does Flavor Flay and VH1 and everyone realize that we, we're off the air in like 15 minutes? You do know it's Flavor Flav. Do, yeah, do Flav's running a little late. He should be here so. Oh, but do you absolutely know it's Flavor Flav? Yeah. With a V? Yeah, but that's but how they say I, it in the ghetto. Flavor Flay. Do they say Flavor yeah, Flay? They get, they get no. lazy at the end of words sometimes. <laughs> no, it's actually Flavor Flavor. That's why it's Flavor Flav is the cutoff. Flavor Flavor? Uh, but you could just say Flavor Flay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's been nitpicking a bit. A little yeah. bit. Back to Jimmy. Did the, did the soup actually fall into the uh, into the soup, or did the part where your mouth goes just commit suicide and jump? <laughs> I think it was where my mouth goes. Did the goes soup, into the soup but... actually fall <laughs> into the soup? Wait, did I say that? Oh my and God! Did I say did the soup? you? You just said did the soup actually <laughs> fall into the soup? <laughs> well, that's a legitimate question because sometimes soup will get mixed up, and I hate when another man's soup falls into my soup. Did your phone <laughs> fall into your phone? <laughs> Wow. 
just, and you just don't even know that you did that. No. I just love it's Anthony, something. just the disappointment in his voice right yeah. after someone flubs. Well, I enjoy Jimmy so much that I want to hear what he's saying. When he fucks it up, it's taking away entertainment from me. That's right. He's stealing from but me. you also uh, get a little joy out of it. I get a lot of joy out of it. <laughs> you said epitome. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get past that. <laughs> well, look how it's spelt. It's spelt epitome. All right, I don't want to do this bit. Anymore. <laughs> this bit stinks. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I got, I got some uh, outdoor space in Manhattan. Maybe I'll have a, an alpaca running around. Yeah, they have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. Yeah. So, uh, okay. You know, the kid won't be heartbroken right away, like a goldfish or something. And they look like yamas. Uh, llamas? llamas, llamas, they look Jesus! Like, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, a llama. Black, black I, llama. I, I, I corrected myself really fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, boss would have said, "Why? Why? <laughs> Jesus! Oh, black llama. Gosh, llama. llama. <laughs> That's good. Hey, the llama. Llama. <laughs> oh, oh, this is painful. <laughs> Back to Jimmy, because Anthony's perfect. Yeah. And a bigger ride when Cronkate. Cronkate. Ah. Oh. Oh, at least you didn't say Cronkite. <laughs> Cronkite gave a sexier proclamation of JMK's death with where I was going. <laughs> Took his glasses off. That yeah. was hot. Yeah. Cronkite. Cronkite. <laughs> oh, you horrible. Uh, uh, he's disgusted with himself. <laughs> Cronkite. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like the, the Cronkite Watergate scandal. Yeah. Ooh. Mark, mark that one, Asterisk. fan. <laughs> Asterisk. Just in case you need a little reference. That's a flom. I bet you bomb with a flub. <laughs> Here's another one. One day I'll change it and just say I grabbed Richard by the hair and said, Suck my cock, bitch. <laughs> Suck my cock. A c- cop? <laughs> Jesus, forget it. In a bit. Suck my cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we put a siren in that car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the last bomb and flub for today. Who is it? It's not you. Give me an H. Give me a Y. Give me an S. Give me a T. Give me an R. <laughs> What's his spell? The beginning of hysterectomy. <laughs> Hysterectomy? <laughs> Hysterectomy. Is it H E? No, H Y. H Y S T E R. You said R. S T E R. Yeah, you said S T R. You sure? I'm positive. Play the tape back. I'm pretty sure I said E R. No, you fucked up. I certainly didn't. Hysterectomy. But did you I'm sorry, you'll have to get a hysterectomy. <laughs> but did you hear the way I bailed out of it? I didn't feel like spelling out the entire word. <laughs> of course, especially after. Uh, uh, leaving out a letter. <laughs> Hysterectomy. Uh, that's not bad okay. at all. A little say, comma in there. <laughs> Just take that letter out. Let's say hi to Andy in New Jersey. <laughs> sound friendly. Andy. Yo, what's up? Hey, listen, Anthony does mess up, man. Every time he says finger, younger. Finger, you know? younger. Stop it. That's right. Finger. <laughs> it's good that you picked yeah, those two stop. words to put together, too. Finger, <laughs> younger. <laughs> finger, younger. Younger. Nathaniel, bravo. Good job. Thank you. Yes. The first installment of Bombs and Flubs. How come there's no enthusiastic applause coming from the booth? It's weird. Yeah, what? Anyone want to take any credit now? For a little help? Uh, no. Oh, to be honest. honest with you. It's cute. They're a little jealous. I think so. There you go. All right. All yearning. Like puppies in a basket. When you take one out and pet it, they all look like, why aren't you petting me? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What did Phil Collins do with the Beatles? Well, he always tells the story. He goes, he sat in on a session. He said he wanted to play drums, but obviously... They played, uh, um, Hey, Juju, Judia. <laughs> I like it. That wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Nathaniel made me do that. So I, I, yeah, it's got to be marked. Oh, now he's got a little... Bl- I, that fucker's just standing there with his pen. I know, now with <laughs> I his know. pen, waiting for us to fuck up. This is why Nathaniel stinks, because he doesn't want to... He's lazy, he doesn't want to go back over the old ones, so he's like, I'll just get all the new yeah, ones. Yeah, new ones. He's already got five from today. Of course he does. He'll make believe he found them uh, months ago. He wants to know if he could use the flubs that we've used during the flub segment, because it's a new segment now. Yes. So he's just going to 
replay those. We got a few things we could do here, Anthony. We got bombs and flubs. Oh. Now, also, you, we got crazy you, guy from yesterday. Did you tell Nathaniel to not include you I sw- in ask those him, flubs? Ask him personally. No. Uh, I'm actually amazed that I uh, did not. Well, I, I have one flub. You have one flub. One flub, no bombs. How many flubs do I have? Bombs and flubs, volume two. You have uh, one, two. Oh, you only have two flubs. I have two flubs. How many flubs does Jimmy one, have? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Wow. Wow, you have something against Jim Norton there, Nathaniel. Yeah, what's the problem? problem I love Jim Norton. Problem fan? All right, you're going to have to deal with it, Anthony. Yeah, I... <laughs> you hate my name, just... No, I just hate that. I like Nathaniel. It's a very classy name. Well, thank you. But fan is a little odd. It's a mouthful, though, sometimes, and if you're going to go short, it's fan, unfortunately. Have you... Uh, have you gotten the website fans fans yet so you could open up a fan fans 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 dot com, fans dot com. or dot net <laughs> oh <laughs> thought, <laughs> dot tv thought i said <laughs> oh, well, shock me, it down let me write that down there you go. Go. by the way com. all right bombs and flubs volume two this is uh nathaniel's pretty much spearheading this bit anthony and he's nathaniel keep- is quite the go-getter here out of this crew at least he's the one. You know, I know all of them work very hard. What are you talking about, Dan? He had the guitar riff on the new uh, Drew Boogie Wow remix. Oh, he worked very hard well, on I'm that. supposed to be thrilled that some guy probably smoking a little pot is playing some guitar? Great. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. I'm saying I know they all work very hard. Dan, are you going to take that? He can't hear you. You're I lucky, know Anthony. they work very hard, but Nathaniel... Wants everyone to know how hard he's working. He comes in a lot. He's in this studio a lot. He brings his little pad with notes on it. That just says working. He looks important always. Yeah. You're right. It looks like he's working hard all the time. I like that. Well, I mean, even though I do put a lot of time in these things, occasionally I might make a mistake in marking them. Mm-hmm. And Opie wants to know where this came from or what you know going on here. Right. So I feel like it slows the show down if I have to write a note or I yeah. am... E Rock, you know. So I where is E Rock? Where there. the hell is E Rock been? Where is he? What happened? He's uh, doing something else. He's been out of the studio the entire show today. Hopefully, he's going through a car wash with his mouth open. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, you bastard! Oh. Wow, that was perfect timing. He was walking right through the door when you said that, and he couldn't hear the replay quick, quickly. You enough. might want to listen to the replay. <laughs> I can't even look uh, at it's you. Been, people, people are questioning where you have been. What are you doing? He comes in, he picks up some gum and just throws three pieces in his mouth. Yeah, what was that about? <laughs> Where have you been? I was getting Who cares? <laughs> yeah, the, the show is running fine without you. Go back to what, whatever you were doing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you horrid. You're a horrid man. Oh, every once, a, a every once in a while I get one out, oh. you know. Anyway. Why would you? What, I'm not too like. Is it bad? Hmm? I sometimes dread coming in here. Oh. Why? And he sits right next to you. That's, <laughs> That's the great thing. Yeah. I got an idea. I, I don't want to embarrass the kid, but I got an idea. What? You got a yeast infection? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? I just got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. You what gonna, is it, Opie? Is it one of those things like a show related, or are you just gonna help him out with this idea? I'm just gonna be sliding stuff to him during the show. Oh, is that what you're gonna? It's do? gonna look like notes, but it's gonna be other things. On, things written on Listerman strips. <laughs> just <laughs> quick, it's a secret. Destroy the evidence. You have to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Nathaniel is doing the uh, bombs and flubs for the show. The guys are working on some other things too. I I I I I've been hearing. Yes, and so let me something to do with farts and maybe some other things that they won't won't uh, let on to yet. And mm-hmm. let me also add that a, a, the it was really a group effort this time. A lot of people oh. contributing the bombs and flubs without even accepting his award. He's thanking people already. <laughs> yeah, were you a fucking documentary of the year winner? <laughs> you know, I couldn't have done this alone. Best foreign <laughs> language film. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. Every, <laughs> Everybody, uh, you know, everybody's a credit whore around here. So I'm that like, is true. And I'm, the, uh, I'm exactly that way in the other in the booth. So yeah, all right. right. Sorry. Well, without further <laughs> ado, evidence. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? We got uh, bombs and flubs, volume two, Laszlo in studio. 
We're going to get to your tech stuff, because you came in with material, right? Yeah, I never get to half of it. I know. I That's haven't. true. You come in with but, stuff, but, and we babble, and you never get to it. Dude, we never get to You should see the stuff we never get to. We should do a whole show someday on the stuff we never got to. You should just outsource oh. it to another show. That's not a bad idea. Okay, here we it's go. my birthday today. No, Your birthday not. was fucking yesterday. I listened to the show. Thank you, Les. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> you can't claim two birthdays. How was Ozfest? I'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, that we have to get. We have to get to yeah, that. Yeah, we're supposed to get to that as well. All right, let's get through bombs and flubs, then we'll do Laszlo and uh, and Jimmy's experience Ooh. at Ozfest. And, yes. and then I think this that would wrap up a very fine show. Oh, today is really flying by, i got to say. Yeah. Yesterday, Oof. little clock watching Oof. going on there yesterday. A little rough. Oof. Started at 7.10. Well, I looked up, yeah, at about 7.15 and went, oh, I thought it was 10 by now. <laughs> and Jimmy just bails. Right Jimmy at left. Jimmy reached down, pulled a handle between his seat, the roof opened up, and he popped right out with a parachute. I had to, dude. I knew the best, best birthday ever was coming. Yeah. All right. We'll get into that in a few okay, minutes. I'll Let's get through bo uh, bombs and flubs. Today, we're going to start with flubs, Anthony. A little different. Now, uh, why don't we explain what the difference between a bomb and a flub is? A flub is when we're uh, speaking and uh, the words just come out twisted. You mean to say one word. For some reason, a totally different word pops out of your face. And the very sympathetic uh, crowd that we hang out with here in the studio doesn't just let it slide. They, uh, they point it out and laugh at you. Uh, the bomb is what just happened to Ben earlier in the program. Uh, you, you say something you think might get a reaction, a little chuckle, and it gets nothing. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you, well, you bombed. And these guys are coming up, trying to come up with other, you know, ideas as categories, far as, uh, categories and stuff. I, I have one that might work, just as, sim as simple as this line of the day. Line of the day. Because every day there's just that one line that yeah. that just blows you away, like the line about uh, the Parkinson's that you did. I heard that on the replay all weekend long. Oh. I, I laughed harder every time I heard 90 it. Ninety pound lead hat. Like <laughs> <laughs> yours, Parkinson. That one's a good one. Line of the day, and just start oh. just start collecting the That's lines of funny. the day, the the ones that are just over the top uh, home runs. I think it's oh. funny that Oak mentions line yeah. of the day after he. Of just course. Ah. <laughs> He's calling me out on it. Of course. There was some kind of motive there. Because now I know I could be part of that bit. Please. <laughs> I'll have one out of the 30. That was, that was a two run home run off the upper deck. <laughs> and, uh, line of the day, though. Line I think of the day there. by guys in the studio whose name starts with a G. <laughs> Glenn Hughes. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's start with Flubs. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 2. The first one is from Lil Jimmy Norton. You mind your fucking business, especially when it concerns me and Liddy. Concerns? <laughs> the, <is> <laughs> concerns? Hey, watch out. This concerns me. <laughs> concerns. Oh, people also are requesting something for this. Yeah. I read the message boards, and people are requesting that you put a small beep tone at the end of the clip. Because people don't know when the when clip is done and when we're back commenting on how funny the flub was. Hmm. You know? People have no idea. I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you do that over and over again? For today at least? Or do you get scared? Sometimes I get scared because scared. <laughs> the loud noise shut startles me. <laughs> Alright, well, do we I'll do a bell. I could do this. Alright. Okay, All right. there we go. And that means we're back live? Yeah. Well, how about this? When something bombs and we laugh and then we're laughing. All right, I was going to say, but good, I'm, I'm ready to end the next clip. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. The next flub is from. <laughs> uh, we're back. <laughs> I couldn't wait. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> the next flub is from Anthony. Uh oh. Beyonce's ass is giant. She has a huge fat ass. It's awful. But they, they you know. Looks like she sat down in a gravel driveway. Oh! <laughs> Uh, it looks like two people sat on a gravel driveway. That is a giant ass. Each cheek of her ass is a normal person's ass cheek. It's massive. <laughs> Full ass. It's great. It's, it's, it's I'm like to uh, recover. Addition. Yeah. I said each cheek of her ass looks like a normal person's ass cheek, and then I, I said uh, a normal person's ass. I fucked up. That could go in the fuck up reel, by the All way, because right. I did scroll. Bombs and flubs. Yes, there we go. Now we're back. Live. Oh God, what a, what, ugh, what a cold too. Big cold nose. <laughs> oh, I said her ass. Oh. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm so happy that you guys you guys took our advice and went back. 
Yeah. The really old really show. Really far back. Yeah. That one was from Thursday. Still hacking phlegm up from that. It's very cold. <laughs> right. The recording is in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that happened. Doom. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> it's a mix. Uh, a yeah, mix. It's a All mix. Right. Okay. Sure. The next flub is from old Jimmy Norton. The P, uh, yeah. the P volume of encyclopedias, in case you want to discuss filibusters. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Jimmy's getting pounded, by the way. Why? Why? Because filibuster would be found in the F encyclopedia. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a P. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our listeners, not letting you get away with they, that And one, they Jimmy. absolutely shouldn't. Yeah. I'm a P-H-U-C-K-I-N-G idiot. <laughs> Uh, that's very good. Um, I, I I didn't know either. Stupid bad spelling me. I sat there and went, yeah, exactly. That should be bombs. Yeah, pH section. Bombs, uh, flubs, and little phonetical errors. <laughs> little spelling error. All right, the next yeah, one, we one. go back to Anthony. Oh. oh, the news shows do the same thing we're doing here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the pundits, they speculate, <laughs> and people yeah. go, oh, well, did you hear on the news? <laughs> who does? <laughs> it's, it's, hmm? who, who does? The pundits. <laughs> the pundits do. Yeah. Cool. What did I say? The pundits. It's not a pundit? No. What is it? It's a pundit. Pundit? Pundit with a T. We all learned something new I on this program. G. Gordon Libby. Let me see. <laughs> You're absolutely sure? Yes. Yeah. You're saying no, it's just pundit for years. No, it's not a pundit. Sorry. Pundit. Don't Sorry, be no, so defensive no, about it. No, no, I'm not. No, I, it isn't. I can finally be right. You are right. Jesus, let's all chill down. What? Chill down. What? Pun. <laughs> what is Dave Douglas doing here? Dit. <laughs> Pundit. Good Pundit. visual for the Boston crew around here. All right, here we go. Uh, you get it? I stink. <laughs> P-U-N-D-I-T, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fucker, Jimmy. You really laid into me. It wasn't even a nice way. I, I might laugh and chuckle when you have a little flub or a um, little misstep there. But uh, you were like, yeah, no, no, it isn't. It was so satisfying. Yes. I, yes, it is. Can. I go, really? It's that way. Yes, it is. Don't question me. Because it's rare that it happens, and I just wanted to savor victory. I can't believe I went through that long of a life with Pundant. saying that that way. Isn't it a picky one, though? Pundant. No, that is just a legitimate, I've been pundit. fucking up that word. Yeah, the words, it's pundit. All right. And that one's over a month old. I just want to get in. Oh, oh wow. 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 Daniel, Jesus. Jeez, you must have to pull one. that off a reel-to-reel. Yeah, God forbid you find something with an 04 after the slash. <laughs> <laughs> Why not take the rest of the day off? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. It's like my ex-girlfriend and I were talking one time, and she was saying pontificate meant to think deeply. And I'm like, mm-hmm. stupid. No, it doesn't. It <laughs> yeah. means to preach. Yeah. To... She's like, no, no, I'm pontificating. I'm in deep thought. And uh, no. the satisfaction at that pompous ass. Did you punch her in the face? <laughs> no, no, I just ate her ass for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you showed her. I straightened her out, jerked off all over yeah. my floor. Yeah. Old Professor Butterscotch <laughs> teaching her. What's <laughs> <laughs> no. Say it again. <laughs> now I'm pontificating. She's like, you're speaking? I'm like, no, I'm catching hepatitis from you. <laughs> That's what pontificating means. All right, the next flub is from Jim Norton. Mm-hmm. We'd be in the car with Florentine. He would fart. I swear to God, if me, him, and Lee were in the cup... He would, he, I would fart into a cup and hand it to him, and he would smell it and go, not bad. <laughs> How did all of you fit in a cup? What? You said we were in the cup. Didn't I say we were in the car? No, you said you were in, all in the <laughs> cup. <laughs> I knew where you were going, but I, I had to uh, call uh, you on I it. Really a zilch. <laughs> well, all in it, a cup. In the little teacups at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning around. I actually met an athletic supporter. Three of us were just hanging out inside of uh, Ben's athletic supporter. <laughs> using it as a toboggan. <laughs> well, you could. <laughs> that was very good. That's that was kind of picky, though. No, you, you were. You kind of said cup, and then you said car. All right. I said we were all hanging out in the cup. We have another one from uh, Jimmy. That was from the Dark Ages. That was three weeks ago. I know. <laughs> is that it? This was this, this happened is at it? the end of the Dragon Wagon call, which is Boosting. a very famous oh, bit on the show. Old. I will put you on my church's play- playlist. You okay? do that, and then you should fucking hook it up to the church. I fucked that one up. Fuck oh. it. <laughs> You are you are rolling. You are rolling wow. without an error for the whole time. That's all right. I just couldn't think of the jerk reference real quick. Oh. Yeah. All right. Ding. 
I guess we could skip number seven and go right to eight. I don't no. Want to skip seven. <laughs> I like doing seven. <laughs> the seven is brutal. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis from Whackbag. He learned Anthony can't be harmed by Master Poe because he's an 18 <laughs> sorcerer who can conjure up large balls of Steve. <laughs> yeah, you a conjure, I know. Shut up. <laughs> sure, <laughs> he's already to pounce. Yes. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, he. Because I was laughing and I couldn't uh, say the word right. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're not French. You'd say hello like bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. <laughs> Conjure. That's a good one. All right. Back to Jimmy. You do a Warcraft. This elixir will grow hair and cure the vapors. All right. Well, Patty, we don't have anything for you today, so That's thanks right. for coming It's here's camel toe. This, this thing... Uh, oh. Oh, man, oh. I couldn't think of the word elixir. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the mouse. <laughs> that was a visual flub. I went to ring the bell and I dang, I dinged my mouse. Wow! <laughs> I just slapped the top of my mouse. What a complete ass! And it opened your hidden window, and it's the guy being fucked by the horse. <laughs> I always keep the sexy pictures behind the uh, browser. <laughs> oh, what an idiot! All right, let me double click this. <laughs> Finally, the last stink, the last flub. Put another log on the Steve. <laughs> Chesting? Chesting? I was going to sing Chestnuts Roasting by Steve oh, Sweet, but of you're course... You're so eager to get it all out <laughs> yeah. in one word. Chestnuts Roasting. Chesting. Chesting fire. Uh, fat neck, little thin lips. Oh, so eager to please. Old Komodo dragon torso. Dragon? <laughs> Just shut up! Stop the pain! <laughs> That's a really good one. Dragon. Right <laughs> Lovey, there's a dragon. <laughs> and is it ironic that someone said logs and I blurted out chest? <laughs> 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 I love this bit. Very good. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 2. Put more bombs in there, though. That was great, but they're mostly flubs. Oh, no, but there's no I started with just flubs. Wow. Those are all flubs. That's another thing. Jimmy? Oh, I didn't know that. That's okay. another thing they're keeping track of, by the way. What? When we're not listening. Yeah. Oh, no, I just didn't know that that was what... Okay. Well, now we're going to do the bombs. Those are all flubs. Oh. Now we have all bombs. And, and Nathaniel's smart. He knows that the bombs are stronger than the flubs, right? right. Even yeah. though it's called Bombs and Flubs, he started with flubs, knowing that if you end with the strong stuff, which in this case would be the bombs. The At least bombs. I didn't say put more flubs in. <laughs> <laughs> At least I knew that they were... <laughs> they were bombs. I sure flubs. did. All right, here's the first P-H-L-U-B-S. bomb. P-H-L-U-B-S. <laughs> Here's Jimmy bombing, believe it or not, on the Opie and Anthony show. You were I don't talking about it. how your goal is to just live in bed and yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure. And I had audio, actually, from your bathroom. Oh, really? Uh, from your bedroom? Uh, a bedroom, bathroom, if I can make that the same room. <laughs> Some room with a B? <laughs> right. better. The bitchin'? <laughs> See? Bitch kitchen. Oh, you. My body comes through. <laughs> Clearly, I was, that was mislabeled because that was an Anthony right, bomb. Right, that's an Anthony okay. bomb. How about bombs, flubs, and mislabels, which leads to firings? <laughs> <laughs> Is that with a PH? Yes, when I said which leads to firings instead of which lead, but we all understand. And I wasn't even okay, listening. What was the bomb in that? He, he, I don't know, had Anthony. Uh, Sorry to make you repeat it, but I, I swear to God I wasn't listening on that one. Uh, I don't know. It was just some awful reference to a room that starts with a B, and it, I okay. said oh, bitchin. Oh, bitchin'. That would be a kitchen with, oh, but with oh, a B, because oh, oh. isn't that wacky? That it's was, a kitchen with a B. Ha <laughs> ha. That was bothel. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm concerned about the rest of the labels. Uh-oh. Damn it. Is this like a chain reaction? The first one's off, then yeah, all Yeah, because this? that one says uh, Jim uh, bombing by saying, hey, Judia. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't no. know. Oh, I don't uh, believe that I, my, oh, the bombs boy. anyway. I think they just removed the laugh in post. All right. right. So here's here's someone from our show bombing. I'm not even going to we'll follow the, it out. the cue sheet anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking about when kids learn to speak? It's like the hardest thing in the world. Ever watch, like, Telemundo for a half hour? Like, you force yourself to try to figure out what the hell they're saying? Yep. That's what it's like to be one. How much car crash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Opie gave you the crickets. Oh, I had a car crash. I, I like this one actually. <laughs> <laughs> Our good friend Jay Moore bombing. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I, th I think he should have got something for that. Yeah. That was kind of a good line, I thought. But it was just great the way... I bet you none of us were listening, and that was the problem. It was just... When, it, when it's on the phone, and it lays there, and there's silence in the studio, oh, you just yeah. like, ah. <laughs> The next bomb. I think it might be Jimmy's. Yeah, we never made it to the moon. 
No, I never I, did it. That's oh, a bunch right. of bullshit. We never the sea rock. The sea rock. Because the, the the flag, you could tell it was like blown in the wind or something. Oh. There was some kind of gravity thing happening. And there was also like a weird M in the back. Which yeah. Was serving yeah. burgers. You ever hear Cronkite screw it up? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh. <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> Don't blame me for that clunker. I almost bailed you out. Yep. I went into Cronkite. <laughs> Oof. That was brutal. That could be bombing and the not listening segment all in one. Yeah, yeah all at There's a lot of not listening happening. That bomb's so bad, though, he, you didn't even recognize that humor had been attempted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's Anthony bombing. And also, I think Phil Collins actually did a session or two. He always tells the story. He goes, he sat in on a session. He said he wanted to play drums, but That's obviously Jimmy they played. Um, <laughs> hey, Jew, Jew, Judia. I like it. That wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Nathaniel <laughs> <laughs> oh, made me do that. So I, yeah, it's got to be marked. Oh, now he's got a little. I, that fucker's just standing there with his pen. I know. Now with <laughs> I know. his pen, waiting for us to. Fuck up. This is why Nathaniel stinks because he doesn't want. He's lazy. He doesn't want to go back over the old ones. So he's like, I'll just get all the new. Yeah, ones. new ones. He's already got five from today. Of course he does. He'll make believe he found them uh, months ago. He wants to know if he could use the flubs that we've used during the flub segment because it's a new segment now. Yes. So he's just gonna replay those. <laughs> all right, here's the Kaplan brothers. <laughs> Double down. <bomb. laughs> that wasn't even a crash. That was a sputter and running out of gas. <laughs> Oh, okay. There you have it. A bomb within a bomb. Yeah. Wow, very good. My Beatles one shouldn't have gotten a car crash. It should have gotten a gunshot and a brain tumor. Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a good one. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like a, the, the Cronkite Watergate scandal. Yeah. Ooh. Mark, mark that one, Sam. Asterisk. <laughs> Asterisk. Just in case you need a little reference. That's a flom. I bet you bomb with a flub. <laughs> How come it, the actual flub is barely there? Didn't I say cronkate? That's sort of what you were making fun of me about, is using the bomb from the bomb segment. That oh, okay. The last bomb I segment. didn't even hear me say cronkate. No, he said cronkate. He said cronkate? That was the, his Who old... Who said cronkate? <laughs> oh, God. His, his flub was cronkate, and you were making fun of him, and then he tried to recover with a joke. I don't even listen to myself. <laughs> There's, well... There's going to be the ultimate coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one's good? I hope so. It's, an, it's, it's the an, last one? It's a little long. That's why I'm a little nervous. No, this one should the, work. All right. The the final bomb in uh -huh. the Bombs and Flubs, Volume 2 segment. All right. Here it is. A quick clip here. Virginia Graham. Anyone know who Virginia Graham is? Yes, but she I don't want to spoil a, it. She was a dancer, wasn't she? I was um, Graham. Virginia Graham. Um, she was the Vir son of a cracker Virginia mogul? Virginia Graham. I think she worked. No? I think she was one of these... Uh, well, we know the clip, but I, uh, she obviously worked invented with... Invented a cracker? She obviously worked with uh, no. Mike, Mike Wallace. I just did a cracker joke that bombed. You did? Yeah, I said she was the, s the daughter of a cracker mogul. <laughs> I didn't even listen or to you. you. That's how, bad. That's how listen. badly we listen. <laughs> Mike... <laughs> My cracker That's a pile of on the my, cracker highway. My cracker joke bombed, then he leaped into the crapper, into a cracker you know pool. You know what? That was like you stuck your head up and got shot, and I just went, "What happened?" <laughs> <laughs> shot my head up. You know, oh, I'm an idiot. I got I got to point out. Ever That's since great. we acknowledge that we don't listen to each other, it makes listening to the replay so much <laughs> fucking fun. I can't wait to hear me oh. bomb with the same cracker joke. But I might have even said she was the son of a cracker mogul. I might mine might have bombed on every level, but it yeah. just got. It, not only did it bomb, nobody acknowledged that a person had spoken. I wasn't <laughs> listening to you. I would have laughed at that. Obviously, because I felt <laughs> enough confidence in the cracker joke to use it myself. <laughs> oh, the famous cracker line, yes. I did say son, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. It was a girl, and you said son of a cracker mogul. I was, you know, my head is just uh, churning away trying to come up with something <laughs> funny, and the cracker joke came out. I wasn't listening to Jimmy. And I will say that's the first time I ever made a gender mistake without cash being exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. There you have it. Bombs and flubs. Oh, very too. good, Nathaniel. Bombs, the... flubs, and... Oh, Jimmy! How do you talk on that microphone after blowing ass on it? How do you not? <laughs> smells wonderful. Oh. You want to do bombs and flubs? All right. All right, so here's the first one. Who is it? Who gets the, the first one? It's from Anthony. God damn it, I have a lot of bombs. I throw a lot of shit out on a daily basis. Well, let me tell you <laughs> not something. Not all going to stick. Let me tell you something, Anthony. Yeah. Your only bomb. 
No way. And Bombs and Flubs Volume 3. Come on, I got plenty. This is your only bomb represented here. Here's Ant. What's the deal? He's, uh, they bandaged it up. He just had to wait a while. He took some x-rays. And uh, he's going to call in like a couple minutes. He's just going into Dwayne Reed, to get, I guess, to get a prescription filled. It took him a while because uh, his hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. <laughs> Nothing? His hog donated blood for all the victims of the London bombing. Well, it was a little, little wordy. Okay. All right. Drop that down. All right. And oh, we, we added the, put a tone. Yeah, we added a tone so you know we're back live. I like how quickly you realized you were bombing. I you knew it as I was like, saying it. <laughs> as it was coming out of me, I was like, this is going nowhere. And and the reason in my head? Too wordy. I yeah. absolutely knew why that bomb. His hog donated blood to the victims of the London. To the, the victims London. of the London bombing and blah, blah, you're shut just, up. You're just running to the end of the sentence. Oh, I just <laughs> want to get it out of there and <laughs> cover it up. That was the day Ben uh, didn't show up for work because he got hit by a cab, by the way. It was one of the days? <laughs> one, one of the, the many days. days he didn't show up for work. He's been much better lately, though. All right, speaking of uh, Ben, he's uh, the next one that bombs. Check out Ben. Uh, ben. 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 There's one for the flubs. All right, ben, stop. Ben. <laughs> There's a Nathaniel writing it down. <laughs> Here's Ben bombing. All right, Mike. Well, uh, come back with your head I lowered in shame. I will. I will. I'm on my way. Good right. job. Look yeah, at the bright slink, side. Slink back, Mike. Look at the bright side. You got the guy that made his uh, terrible wow flyers going around Times Square. That guy from yesterday. The crazy guy that was in here. <laughs> this terrible flyer. Well. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no one would be listening to that at all. No one was listening to him at all. <laughs> I just like how he kept going and going, waiting for a reaction from somebody. You got to admit, that guy was pretty funny. <laughs> right, and did you hear live. fucking SpongeBob Skull trying to cover it up and just keep talking? Like, you know what, though? I mean, the guy really, really was his flyer. Yeah, yeah he was crazy, yeah. Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Little fucking trick of like when it bombs, you know, we, you turn it into a serious statement quickly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. and it's Never meant it to be stunk, a joke. But I mean, I heard he really worked hard on them, you know. <laughs> Never meant it to be a joke. <laughs> All right, the next one is from Old Jimmy Norton. Uh oh. Jesus, how the hell did you find one of these? <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. What's wrong, Jimmy? Let's get you passed. Oh, I, well, but I what? You, you made us all look. I'm sorry. Did I ruin it? What no. It? What? No. Jimmy? There was just something that said Bitter Ant. That was the name of the product. And I was oh. just. Thank you, Nathan. Me when I'm all bitter? Yeah, but it, it, it just doesn't hold <laughs> <laughs> That one bombed in theory. <laughs> bombed well uh, in advance in your head before it ever came out. Yeah, so I kind of knew that know. was going down. You knew. <laughs> I just love hearing, like, as you lose confidence, as it starts to Oh, bomb. yeah. You start off, like, really decent volume. Yeah, that's kind of like the guy, you know. <laughs> you just become this fucking little four-year-old. I want some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one is from Rich Voss, bombing on the Opie and Anthony program. I want to be on the cover of Tiger Beat with, like, a white bathing trunks with the lining torn out, <laughs> yeah, nice about, and wet. How about the cover of Nambla Weekly? <laughs> well, was, uh, I think that was necessary. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good line. I, I didn't hit the button. Don't look at me. <laughs> Is there a Namba Weekly? A Namba? Namba? Nambla? Yeah. Namba. Nambla Weekly. Um, uh, no, it was just an awful attempt. Yeah. We watched it. That was like a really inside thing, and he knew what mm -hmm. Nambla was. <laughs> Fucking dope. I'm educated. All right, the next bomb is from old Jimmy Norton oh, again. Oh, no. She said yeah. that uh, I, if Andrew gave yeah, him I, I was the, the pictures he took I, because you smashed her camera, she would give him a blowjob in exchange. That you want to blow it up today, Andrew? Offered. She offered. No. He didn't no. accept my blowjob. She would definitely uh, do it for you. Yeah, she certainly would. Oh, no. and then she said, even if you don't give me the pictures, I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> Those nice ratty no, teeth wrapped finger? around it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you you have to yeah, suck I, too. Jimmy. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get Sandy Kane in here. <laughs> I didn't even know where the bomb was. Yeah, there. I don't get that one. It was, the, no, my, the, even if she doesn't give you a blow, you don't bring the picture, she'll give you a blowjob. Yeah. This is a mild, oh, weak yeah, attempt that, at humor. All right, that wasn't that bad. That's no. right, then, you piece of shit. <laughs> uh, this one is titled Ben. So Ben's bombing here. Then it says Voss impression. Does Ben do a Voss impression? Wow. Probably. Ben doing impressions. And then it says be good. 
comma Jim Flub. Okay. Let's take a listen. That one made page six. Yes, it, it did. did. <laughs> one of Ben's parties actually got into page six in the paper about the celebrities that were there and, yeah, and Voss. Voss. Hey, it's Voss. So. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm out of here. Why? I was like, I'm not wrong with a good birthday bum. <laughs> Car crash. No, no, no. no. Not even. You're in a category all by yourself. Man. That's not even a car crash. That's just a cake falling off the floor and thudding. <laughs> falling <laughs> off the floor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the house was turned upside down <laughs> in a tsunami, <laughs> falling off the floor. The <laughs> no, cake fell off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Candle right through her head. <laughs> a bomb and a flub, all in one. That stupid Ben doing that Voss impression. Hey, it's Voss. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> like Mark, that was his Mark Perino impression. <laughs> Terrible. Hey, it's Voss. And that's when you know you're doing an awful impression. You have to say the person you're doing. <laughs> hey, I'm Bill Clinton. <laughs> it always starts with hey. Hey. This hey. is the guy I'm impersonating. <laughs> he claps his little fat hands. Hey. Hey, boy. Just <laughs> <laughs> laugh. A one f- little fat headed addict alone with his merriment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next bomb is from um, myself here. All right, I'm prepared to bomb. I'm not. Even no, no, don't, don't prepare. So I was gonna go. Jimmy's not on the South Beach diet. He's on the South Bronx diet. Hookers and losing weight. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you can see where it could have been cute. <laughs> that one actually brought shame into the room. <laughs> yeah. That was so bad. Uh, people are commenting that this is the worst tone that was used it's ever. Awful. It's one of those raise your right hand if you hear it in your right ear yeah. kind of tones like you heard in school during the hearing test. Where did you get that? That is horrid. Van? <laughs> horrid. It's on. No, it's not. Uh, no. There you go. Got headphones on. No, now it's back. Um, I just—it's just something it generated from by the uh, editing software. It's like an old fifties tone. Yeah. It's like one of those books you read as a kid. Effects. Yeah, you know, it's time to turn the page. Well, people don't like it. Sorry. All right, we'll find a, a new tone for the next. No, I like this one. It's annoying flunks. everyone. Keep it. All right, the next bomb is from Rich Voss again. Oh. I'm on uh, thirty-seven, Rich. Thirty-seven. Wow. Same as your waist size. Uh, nothing. They told me to call to be mean. Well, that was mean spirited because I can't be mean because it's your birthday. First of all, I don't even like doing the. Hmm. All right. That's just pretty much rich being on the show, isn't it? <laughs> He's so experienced with bombing too. He just plows right through. Plows ahead. I like when he goes, but uh, like he's changing the subject and it goes nowhere. Boss is a laugh track in his right head. there. <laughs> <laughs> he just hears smiles and laughs. He hears smiles. Oh, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> the next bomb is from old Jimmy Norton. Oh, ooh. We got to talk about the Jesus statue that opened its uh, eye. Oh. A little creepy. There's not, it's not a big mystery, though, by the way. No. Yeah. Somebody was being loud in the house. Um. <laughs> it stinks, but I don't like it. <laughs> I just meant that uh, that there was no mystery because the joke would have been that it's obvious he opened his eye because somebody was loud and he was like, "What?" Right. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Hello, exactly. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Wow. <laughs> what an abrupt stop. Uh, there was six seconds of dead air after that line. And then he just goes, ah. <laughs> and then he started feeling <laughs> uncomfortable. That was like a cabin pressure thing. <laughs> <laughs> Catastrophic loss of cabin yeah. pressure. No laughs, frost on the windows. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> Woo. All right, the next bomb is from Nathaniel. Sitting to my left today. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? I love petting puppies until they die. 
That's all right. No? All right. Nope. You might want to pet yourself there. All right. <laughs> you should pet that joke. You got it. Oh, at, well, someone's laughing. Well, yeah. like, three what? clowns in that room. Yeah. I mean, never take a chance, Travis. Oh. Sure. Oh. Oh. Enjoy anonymity, stupid. Oh, oh, oh. oh he yeah. snapped you. He may have bombed, but he's calling you a pussy boy, and I think he's right. <laughs> never take a chance, Travis. Wow. <laughs> Can I point out that I, I like the fact that the guy who creates the bit and uh, and and does all the editing puts in his own um, bomb uh, slash segue into a kill. Exactly. Yep. Absolutely. Sorry. He was able to rehash the whole Travis thing. Anytime I could make fun of Travis again, yeah. I would take advantage. He fought no. back well there. Who? He did after yes. he, he bombed. Yeah, he did. All opie pants. <laughs> that fucking awful shirt he has on is really. That is a pedophile shirt. It's making me physically ill. I think Henry Lee Lucas wore that when he killed yeah, that that's 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 Fucking that's creep. That's a little checkers. A little checkered shirt. That's nice. All right, the final bomb. Um, and this next one is just for a little background. We're listening to the audio from Saturn. Remember that weird audio? Oh, yeah. That's the weird sound you'll, you'll uh, hear. The radio telescopes picked up these weird sounds from Saturn. That's the background sound you'll hear. Okay. Here's Jimmy bombing. Yeah. And they're not explaining this further yet? No, that's pretty much it. It's just radio waves from Saturn. You're hearing them. Is there it they are. Some form of intelligent life? I don't know. I don't think so. If you listen close, you can hear cathedral. Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's an ongoing that's your story. Science, that's your science lesson for the day. From popular science... People want that audio. Where the fuck can I get that audio? That's creepy as hell. Any Nine Inch Nails album. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's go to Greg in California. <laughs> Just go to fark.com. That's Literal. where we found it. Yeah. <laughs> we should give Fark a, a good plug. Yeah, that came off of Fark. <laughs> Those two jokes, let's acknowledge this. My last two jokes bombed so bad, no one made eye contact with her. <laughs> that bad. It was almost like you had all walked in on me. You ever see Prince of Tide when Nick Nolte's a boy being fucked in the ass and his brother looks in the window and sees it and then shoots the perpetrators? That's how the feeling I just got. <laughs> like you all just peek through the curtain and somebody being raped by an older gentleman. <laughs> that bad. I was listening, too. <laughs> there you have it. That was a fucking good double bomb. That was. Then he came back strong, though. Of course. Those were awful. All right. right. People saying that tone is the same beep they used to uh, advance the frames during one of those slideshows you used to get in uh, school back in ye olden days. All right. Why don't we do some bombs and flubs? We love bombs and flubs. We haven't done this in a very long time. This is volume four. It's very painful for us. We're willing. Yeah. Put together by our own Than. He keeps track of when we bomb. Or when we flub a word. We never the really staff do, loves it. Huh? We never really do bomb. All right, bombs and flubs. Volume four. We start with the flubs. Uh, you were saying about bombs and flubs, Anthony. Yes, uh, we, we throw each other under the bus when we screw up, mispronounce a word, uh, get something wrong, or just uh, throw out a joke that bombs. So the flubs are... That's a flub. It's when you screw up a word. And the bombs are when your joke just horribly bombs. And we're not afraid to... Uh, put ourselves out. Uh, the flubs are when we get a word wrong, right? Yeah, flubs yeah. are when we get a word wrong. Yep, and the bombs when your joke bombs. And just every radio show out there, when they flub or bomb, they just move on as fast as possible. Like, oh, my God. And and they move on to something else. Yeah. On this show, we slow down the whole show. Because everyone has enjoy to enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> Wanted to explain that to uh, West Palm Beach. Right. And Pittsburgh. Because they're also new. Yeah, but Pittsburgh, they, they didn't... They got it. They, they get it. Okay. West Palm. And West Palm Beach gets it, except for the stupid PD that thinks uh, that we yeah. uh, we talk too inside or whatever. The he was PD saying. had to explain that everybody doesn't know what oh. the hell we're talking about. Frightening. All right, here's the first yeah. flub. Is it Frightening. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. The first flub is from Anthony. Yeah. Figured. Let's see the credits. There really was a reason ben why I didn't open up the game myself. You know that, right? You wanted to rewrap it. Thank you, Hawk. Did you? I kind of didn't want mine opened. You wanted to give a gift? Yeah. I want to rewrap. Yeah. Thanks, Hawk. Who are you going to give it to? Jesus. Cat's out of the bag now. He's, he's looking at me like I didn't know how to open this. I know. I knew how to open it. I, got, I, I didn't want it open. He might have been trying to be helpful because you were doing I'm, the radio program. Cellophane. 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 
Oh, you really are a guinea. Pardon me. <laughs> hey, telephone. <laughs> we give the racial epithet. <laughs> Cellophone. How annoying is my voice? Do I sound like that all the time? <laughs> yes. <Ugh. laughs> High pitched, fat faced idiot. <laughs> We're, back. <laughs> We're back live, obviously, but there you go, Anthony Flubbin. Cellophone. Cellophone and stuff. <laughs> all right. Instead of whatever. It happens. Whatever. It certainly does. <laughs> all right, the uh, wise guy show. The next the cellophone. The next flub is from Anthony. Wow. Two in a row for Anthony. What the hell's wrong? It's, you know, it's a crapshoot, too, to, you know, which ones get yeah. pulled and stuff like that. boy. Here's Anthony. It's 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 like going in with, if you're a stand-up comic, uh, and, and going with a Gilligan's Island professor uh, fixed the hole in the boat, why can't he make a radio out of a coconut That's joke? A good one. I was going to go with the Use air- it. It's yours, Jimmy. I was going to go with the airplane joke. The airplane peanut joke. Right. right. Exactly. It's just the hack joke. Yo, guys, what's going on? Hey, hey man. He's under the bus because he's... He was talking about the Gilligan's Island thing. He said that the professor fixed the hole in the boat but couldn't make a radio out of a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What a backwards ass I am. <laughs> he could make a radio out of a coconut, but he couldn't fix the hole in the boat. I said it backwards. I said he could fix the hole in the boat, but he can't make a radio out of a coconut. I screwed up the hackiest joke ever. <laughs> you just stated facts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they got off the island, and there was no show. Thank you. I'm an ass. The show lasted one time. <laughs> I am a jerk. They had one show because he hey, fixed the boat right away. I fixed away. the boat. Thank God we had a professor here. And we're back live. Yeah. I didn't even catch that until the caller called it in. Yeah, I didn't catch it either. No one did. I especially didn't. Gilligan's Island stunk, so we shouldn't have caught it. Horrid, stupid Unfunny, show. Funny, awful show. Slapstick, fast motion, garbage. Stupid Bob Denver, old rice pudding under the hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the next flub, Bombs and Flubs, Volume Four. It's uh, it's it's me. Oh, this one is recent, but only the uh, XM audience got to hear it. So oh, really? I wanted to share it with everybody. Yeah, this one. Right? Is, this one is brutal. Is it? This is so uncomfortable. Six ways to tell your girl to lose some weight. Uh, here's another suggestion. All right. <laughs> I can't get over how fat I feel. Women have been commiserating with each other for enos about the thickness of their eons. Eons, eons, eons! <laughs> wow. That was a good one. I caught myself barely. Come on. I just can't believe that, that I did that. I'm, I am uh, such an idiot. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, women have been commiserating. Commis- for many enos we have been here. And we're back live. The Enos. Yeah. Jimmy enjoyed that a little too much, oh, I that see. Really gave me Eons, Enos. All right. The next uh, flub, Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4, is Lil Jimmy North. Oh, thank goodness. I'd love to snuggle the puggle. <laughs> I'd like puggle. to pick him up and his little legs dangle. I'd kiss his belly and go. Aww. That's I like adorable. Puppies. Yeah. The see, cutest you, little thing. See, you mix the dogs and uh, you get like supermodel dogs. Yeah. It's just like the people. Just like the you people. You gotta mix a few together and you yeah. get the supermodel. You get the supermodel dog. Yeah. Oh look, the dog is humming if you're gonna go my way. <laughs> well, it'd be funny if I said, Are you gonna go my way? Oh yeah. Properly quoted the song. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back live. It was almost a bomb flub. Yeah, yeah it's not, it's <laughs> not even that bad. It was wrong and sucked. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's good when you can get two out of the way at once. <laughs> it's really not that bad. All I'm right, fine, uh now we move on to bombs. Bombs and Flubs Volume Four. A few mm. bombs here. The first one is uh, is me. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's I thought me. it was going to be me. Uh, the next two are yours. Great. But the first one is is me. Listen to this bomb. That's why when I hear like Bay City Rollers, I want to hear S A T U R D A Y night. Right. I don't want to hear some of the the deeper cuts from the Bay City Rollers. You don't want to hear Roller. Tuesday. Right. Right. I do. Which they. <laughs> did, I guess. I, I am amazed you knew another song. By Absolutely. MLB. You scared me there. <laughs> was, that was my point. I loved Woody. Wow. He was my favorite Bay City roller. Really? Woody? Dude, that yeah. went right over your head. That was a brilliant joke, and I'm going to yeah. acknowledge it. Okay, go ahead. Because they did S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, right. so their Tuesday. follow-up hit was Tuesday. And I had no clue if that was another <laughs> I one of their songs. I honestly didn't either. I thought it was. 
<laughs> that's how, and that's know, how awful and, and they I know are. it's a hacky joke. I'm crashing me. you <laughs> and me and Jimmy because I, he's in his caddy and he's paying attention to the girl know. next to him. All right, we're back live. <laughs> that was really bad. Yeah. You could have yeah. you could have gotten away with it too. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> it for those so, darn kids. Bomb so completely, it came off like a fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, that was really bad. All right, uh, the next bomb is from Anthony. Oh, Listen boy. to this. How about pa uh, those balance bars? I used to eat those and think I was doing really well, but they're like Snickers bars. They're actually better than candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. See, people don't realize that because it looks healthy and they say it's healthy. That stuff is balanced. This fat pig I was going on the stage right after a balance bar. <laughs> Mr. Healthy. <laughs> Prostitute in a balance bar. Why am I not looking good with a pretty girl on my arm? <laughs> well, you can't supplement it with ribs and chicken fingers yeah, and all that. <laughs> they call it that because after you one, you can... Uh, Balance on the other side of oh. a seesaw with an anvil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Well, to balance I, that joke out with a wall. I <laughs> had that word. I had that word in so much better. <laughs> and the second Jimmy looked at me, I lost everything. <laughs> Jimmy's like the intimidator. <laughs> and we're back live. That, oh, you was, could totally hear when I lost it. Yeah. I, I, like right at the beginning, when the um, balance they, they thing. I hate this bit. It's fun for everyone. Oh, it's crazy. Wait, unless it's you bombing. That was Dr. Smith, and that was also Michael Strahan, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That was the first time we met uh, Strahan. All right. Wow. Worded, that would have been funnier. Mm. Believe me. Yeah. I knew it. But I, 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 I tripped over the first like word out of my mouth. Which screwed me up. And then Jimmy starts laughing, knowing I'm bombing. Well, Ants, 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 it's fun to watch Ants just die because it's always a wordy death. It's never like he just, no. he, he realizes it's happening. I can't you can actually see his alone. hands clawing at the wall. Like you're I'm a guy that just, I'll try to control the plane right into the ground. Yeah. I don't know when to just hit the handles and, you know, punch you're out like Maverick. The great Santini. Right. You don't go down. I'm saving point. the people in the city. Yeah. <laughs> All All right. For the drink. The next bomb, Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. Another one from Anthony. Oh, there There's is. Steve the Bear. Oh, Our own Steve. Grr. Yeah. Grr. He's even wearing his Stay Cozy t shirt today. I am. Yes. It's a tribute to my lost home. Grr. Yeah, you're. Oh, look, he's got his Stay Cozy Bear shirt on. Yeah. Grr. Oh. Do you get a big wreath of flowers with H I P on it? Hibernate in peace. <laughs> Grr. Okay. <laughs> I thought it might have been funny. Nope. Apparently. I kind of liked it. I took my eye off the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shot it. <laughs> they didn't need to. It just died of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back live. And Jimmy's always there to make your bomb <laughs> that much worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Jimmy really enjoys when oh. someone bombs. Yes. Yeah, speaking of Jimmy, oh, he bombs in this next clip. Never. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. I bet you edited it and took all the laughs out. <laughs> Here's Jim. The crime is mustache. How it got him tossed in jail. Tonight on Fox 5 News at 10. I know. He got arrested for having a wacky for mustache? For his mustache. Because he probably put on a dress and tried to use the ladies' room. Yeah, with that mustache. Nothing? It, I thought it, that would get a big chuckle. No. Right. It couldn't. <laughs> And there you go, quick one. <laughs> we're back live. It was quick. Yeah. I thought it was um, not funny. No, you were, you get, and I have to concur. <laughs> it was awful. The next bomb, also from Jim. It's 45 feet tall. Yeah. It kills children, and we don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to. <laughs> I will give the boring real answer a tornado. You know what it? No. Why not? Tornadoes are taller than 45 it's a, feet. It's kind of hidden. It comes out of nowhere. No. Why not? It's like Gigantor or yeah. something. I'm talking <laughs> a giant robot crushing children. It's a giant butterfly. It's what that guy it? from the cover of Queen's album. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's without the giant. But here's the problem, though. I, I, I'm like not... <laughs> and we're wow. back live. Wow. That got nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was like... Like matter, anti matter, that was anti humor. <laughs> <laughs> Although I still think it deserves some type of an acknowledgement for being a clever reference. Um, if anyone knew it. Remember, remember the Queen album with the big silver monster? Um, what was the name of the album? It with doesn't like Rocky come right, right to me. Uh, was no. That News of the World? Yeah. Wow, good call. News of the World. Okay. I hate, so I have AIDS. I hate <laughs> that I know all this rock <laughs> trivia. <laughs> yeah. All those years playing those records over and over and 
over and over again. All right, the last bomb, Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. It's myself and Anthony. Yeah, this is. Oh. it's always nice when a bomb begets another bomb. And this is when you guys are talking about the, uh, just it'll make more sense, the uh, lesbian cruise with Rosie O'Donnell, just so you know. All uh, right. There yeah. it is. Well, says pre that up? Yeah. No, they weren't preteens. Says pre-teen. They were in little bikinis in the, uh, in the hot oh. tub. The family tree is a bush. <laughs> <laughs> With no fertilizer. <laughs> Push. Almost. <laughs> well, I don't know where fertilizer came into that. <laughs> Can't fertilize the egg? Can't fertilize, you know. Oh, okay. okay. It's a little stretch, I guess. I was trying. Stop nah. looking at the button. I like the right. button in front of you guys. Hold on, let me think. I... <laughs> All right, uh, gay man breaks down talking about how pastor said having a kid was okay. Yeah. Oh. I, I'll never forget when we told our pastor what we wanted to do in terms of having a baby, and and pastor just... went right to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. We're back <laughs> live. What did you say. Uh, Said past her and went right for the guy. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Maybe not we bad. just weren't listening. Yeah. Okay, guys. I think I had no confidence in it because I immediately gave it the uh, Pat from Monaki delivery. Yeah, you didn't even give it a chance to sit there and see if you were going to get a laugh. <laughs> well, there you go. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. Thank you, Than. You're welcome. Good job, Than. We have more Bombs and Flubs. No. Yes. Bombs and flubs we couldn't play on the other side of the Opie and Anthony film. Ah, ones with curse words. Is there words. dirty language in them? Curse Lots of words. dirty language and other things. I thought Awful it language. Shit. Awful. <laughs> I've had enough of fucking Steve's accent. Coffee. August. Audio. <laughs> audio. Who the That's fuck the talks like one. that? Audio. 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 I'm audio. O-D-D-I-D-E-O. Audio. Say audio. 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 No. Say it normal. How would you normally say it? How would I normally say yeah. it? Yeah. Being raised in New Jersey, audio. The one audio. 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 Because it sounds awful when you talk like that. You take lessons. No, it sounds did, awful. Yeah. He took lessons. Wow. I did. I did. Ew. Was one of the <laughs> I know. No, you didn't. That's creepy. No, you didn't. Did you yeah, really take lessons? Not extensive, but you know, a couple. Not of extensive. Couple, Listen like, to two yourself. Two or three sessions. Every word's with, uh, perfect. With, Here is um, audio. Say audio. audio. It's not yeah. audio. They take. They teach you to envision uh, certain words instead of uh, audio, which is a. Which would I guess if you had to spell it out would be a w d i o. But they tell you a h h h h h. Audio. Audio. Ah. Dio. Ah. Dio. Ah. Dio. So it's coffee. It's c a h. Correct. Fee. Well, I'm picturing it, and it looks <laughs> stupid. Exactly. I'm just trying to sound... Right more. now, you look like a J-E-R-K-A-H-F-F. <laughs> Jerk off! <laughs> That's very good, Jim. <laughs> Doing that very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got Bombs and Flubs Volume 4 for uh, the XM Show exclusively. Thanks to Than. We start with a flub from Anthony. This kid does a lot of, of work, of course. Dan, he's a good boy. I think he's got something against me, though. I never seen. Yeah, so there's many a lot of Anthony. Why favorite. do you think Anthony stinks so much? Cause yeah, look what at did him. I do? I, don't, I didn't it's do just, anything wrong. I, and these are. Uh, I think Ant takes a lot of swings. Is all. Yeah, it's true. Thank these are a lot of um, uh, early on stuff, right? I, I try to mix in some early on stuff and some. All righty. This is like from the first month of our Ooh, XM show. This some, goes. This goes wow. back a while. So here's Anthony uh, doing a little flub here. Flubs, little one. Here we go. But it didn't. Um, I can't. They actually tried to hypnotize me recently on Tough Crap, but I really am very difficult to hypnotize because I can't relax. Woke up from the hypnosis, uh, hypnosis with his pants undone. Yeah. Hey, could you speak, Anthony? You ass. <laughs> Woke up from the hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep. The alarm went off last yeah. night in my house. Uh, we're not live. Hypnosis. <laughs> Great. It's not as bad as Connus. Connus Edison. Edison. Yeah, that, that was the fucking Con Edison in Rome. Connus Edisonus. <laughs> All right, we go to the... Uh, and the reason I didn't apologize is because he called me out because he assumed I didn't know Con Edison and what it is. All right, you're right again, That's man. why I'm not... No, no, you're right. You're, you're right. right. I is, did is indeed that what you say... Need to hear? You're right. If a transcript was written, All you would right, say Connus right. Edison. He's right. I did I say Connus Edison. I forgot. You're never wrong. You're but right. It's, no, I... Oh... 
Glad somebody. <laughs> Coffee <laughs> diva. Glad someone so- sees that I'm never wrong. <laughs> well, you're wrong on the next flub. Two in a row. Stink. Uh, Bombs and flubs, volume four. Dan put this. Put. 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 put, put. All of our crosses to bear. I've been practicing put. Have you? I don't say but as much. Uh, here's huh? Aunt uh, flubbing again. Oh. Can I drop the C word? A little weird. Uh, you want to drop the no, C word? No, no, let's not. No. Okay. No, no, we're Sorry. Trying be, we're trying to be good. We you. understand why you want to drop it, and th- I think that's enough. And I think just okay. saying that, we all know what you want to do. Right. Well, yes. thank you, So do, do the unexpected. That's what we like doing sometimes. The complete un- 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 unexpected. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That just I like where you guys went with that. That. <laughs> Hold on. I'm let not, me I'm enjoy not, Mr. Not, Perfect. <laughs> not yeah. saying a word exactly. properly. Exactly. <laughs> it happens very rarely. Yeah, very rarely. And it bugs us. The last time it happened was eight months ago. We're That's keeping right. track. There you go. We're live again. See, even oh. even way back, it was perfect. It's only gotten Always worse with perfect. the mornings. The earlier it is, the worse I get. I can't talk when I got to do live reads over at CBS in like that six yeah. o'clock hour. I can't spit these fucking words out. Say convenient. Convenient. What word can't you say? Convenient. That's the one. Conveniently located. Conveniently. Yeah. There's, there's something about the conveniently. Mm. And every fucking morning, I got to do one of those reads, and I go conveniently, conveniently. I can't say it. I'm the same way. I see these words, and I I know how they're supposed to be pronounced. Connor Edison. But all of a sudden, I look at it, and, and all of a sudden, it looks foreign to me for some reason. <laughs> and but later in the day, no problem. For Enos, I've been I've been <laughs> able to speak properly. Like that one. I'm like, what did you... <laughs> why would you ever say that? I mean, he knows. All right, the next flub is from Jim. Let's go to the tape. Goody. By the way, somebody sent me a link. I was asking for 9-11 conspiracy theories. And they sent theories. your children through. <laughs> <laughs> no, who, who, what, 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 what do I want? Senior citizens? <laughs> is it good? That was true. We would have been talking about April 2nd. But no, it should have been higher. <clears throat> April 5th, 4 or 5. <laughs> Don't buy him. Well, uh, please hold. <laughs> Thank you. Continue. Glub, 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 glub. And we're back live. <laughs> <laughs> it was a flub that turned into a bomb. Yeah, it was kind of like you incorporated everything. I liked it. Flub diva. Bam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bomb. It was a bam. <laughs> All right, we don't need to do the bombs. Uh, I think we should do. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh yeah, <laughs> one, two, three for me. Uh, oh, Dan, threw yourself under the bus, did you? Ah, oh, what a trooper! Oh, what a nice guy. Me and Danny here, and uh, one for Jim and oh, Jim and Ann together. Jim and Ann together, two of those, and we start with Danny. Here's Danny bombing on bombs and flubs, volume four. Is there a problem with um, your duties here? No, not with the duties. <laughs> duties, obviously not from the picture I saw. <laughs> it's like a fucking plane spelling things. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, an air. <laughs> oh, you should be great. taking shits over Jones Beach. <laughs> I, I, my dumps, you could easily find. You could find the same thing on Central Park South. That's yeah. huge there. But uh, the problem... Thank you. <laughs> getting away with that one. Wow, he's trying to add to it and everything. Cheers. That's how uh, huge they are. <clears throat> but seriously. <laughs> well, but seriously. Uh, they are big. And then he prods <laughs> forward. <laughs> yeah. A, there's like a, he wasn't even trying to do comedy. It was just... <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, they're big. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm not really trying Welcome to I'm just letting you to know. the bomb reel. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one, Nathaniel? Hey, we're back live, of course. It's funny. <laughs> this dumb Danny leans in when he talks. He never is comfortable in front of a mic, so he'll, he'll like always leave the mic and then lean down and yeah. talk. He's just always <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> He's basically going with the the horses because they all line up on Central yeah. Park South and right. a lot of duties. But uh, they had to explain it. Too much information. It's like something you see on Central Park South. Someone does bomb know. panic. Someone, <laughs> someone wouldn't know that in Iowa. No, yeah, of course. Uh wow, let's uh so uh let's uh let's say hi to Brad in Rhode Island. Brad, what's up? Yeah, I just want to say that uh anytime you give Opie something on a read, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be a catastrophe. Catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks for reminding me. Speaking of myself, here's me bombing. Yeah, you wouldn't be fam- uh, familiar with the female anatomy. Oh, As a matter of fact, I think in first grade I believed that yeah, uh in order to make babies you had to do it in the girl's back door. That's what I thought. No, you only do that if you want a doggy. <laughs> that old gag. Doggy style. Mm. Ba-dum, ba-dum, bump. 
Oof. Back Oof. live. See, so, yeah, back live. That old. Some of these are so old they actually predate Anthony's use of the car crash. Oh, I understand that. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, I, I, I figured that much out. That this was the like, old horse and buggy crash. <laughs> yeah. This is like week two of the XM show. Really? Yeah, this is you talking about Monster Rain, some of these oh, bombs are from. And I, I try to save it by saying that old gag. I mean, it was. It's one of the hackiest things you could ever say. Oh, it's silly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another bomb. It's uh, Than. As we go to the tape, I want some tuna fish. Ooh. Let's get ready to bumble. <laughs> <laughs> Your suit. Subpoenas in the mail. <laughs> bumble. <laughs> <laughs> now we're thinking of others. Uh, hmm. Of course, there's got to be another. There's got to well, be another well, one out there you know. somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. What? I got one. How about oh. Fred? Fred got out of his chair. Would you like it? Uh, no, I'm not doing your bit. You do it. <laughs> oh, boy, you better do that now. Oh, well, now you've shattered everybody's expectation. Yeah. Let's get ready to rumble. Hey, I was going to say, you can go to the circus, and they announced, let's get ready to tumble. See, there we go. <laughs> wow, folks. Wow. You don't see that very often. <laughs> what, what Mike you... Tyson's gone down. <laughs> and we're back live. Wow. Before that, that joke, you should have just gotten ready to be humble. <laughs> 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 this isn't part of the tape yet, people. <laughs> what? what? Well, how about this? The next time you want to say something like that, just get ready to stumble. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Next time you fucking construct a joke like that, make sure it's ready to crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The next bomb is is from me. Uh, uh, during the Monster Rain discussion, I yes, guess. Yes, same bit as last right. To the tape we go. I pull my bag out, and I'm like, I'm standing next to her, and I'm pushing it, and my, my helmet against her leg while I'm talking. She had jeans on. I'm like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like pointing it, like, look, 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 and my helmet's against her, her you jeans. You ever pull your bag out and, and, and zip up your pants and oh. try to convince the girl? <laughs> not not hard, and try to convince the girl that the, you got gum stuck on your pants? <laughs> no, I didn't ever do that. Why would I? I was, I was trying to go for a laugh and bombed oh. horribly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean to be so literal. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do try to be funny. No, but I thought you were, you were doing like a, a thing that guys do. Uh, actually, <laughs> some guys do. I, actually, some guys do do that. I, someone told me about that one. Whatever. Well, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> More <Next> importantly, <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't even that bad where of a bomb. Where were we? <laughs> where were we? <laughs> Steering back. <laughs> you should have went. Well, I'm talking about your bomb. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There was a. We did a gig on Long Island where we're at the bar. Mulcahy's. It wasn't Mulcahy's, was it? it might have did been. we end the gig at Mulcahy's it was, that time? It was, yeah, it was when I got blown on the bus and I, I fucking dumped a load on top of the keg. Oh, the keg with the... Uh, and I left my the... load in the fucking thing. It where, wasn't... where the bottles were floating to keep the beer cold. We did the wow thing where we broadcasted yeah. all over Manhattan from a bus and just got drunk and uh, we were giving out wow stickers at all these crazy locations. We were supposed to do about 12 locations. We did three because of <laughs> traffic. And then we got hammered. And then we went to this bar. Was it Mulcahy's? I don't I think it was fr- Mulcahy's. Oh, it was so. some bar in, in Long Island. It was an Irish... It it was an Irish place. And weren't you at the bar, like... Yeah, I put my dick on some girl's leg. I took my dick out, yeah, and I was yeah, talking yeah. to this girl, and I was just rubbing it on her jeans, le- the jeans part of like, her jeans. Yeah. And, but um, before like, you did that, you're like, dude, watch, 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 watch. And she had no clue that your dick was resting on her leg as, as you were talking to her. And, I, yeah, I was pretty new to the show then. I mean, I don't... I don't I might have been like a once a week or twice a week regular. I don't. I certainly wasn't on staff yet. Yeah. All right, here we go. The next uh, bomb is from, uh, well, it's a combo. It's uh, Jim and Anthony. Oh. We're talking friends. about Big A. There's a Big A thing happening here. All right. Hey, uh, Dave in Tennessee has a question for Big A. Dave? Hey, uh, rather than waiting for him to stumble through this, we can catch this all on Dateline next week. Yeah. <laughs> Set your TVOs now. <laughs> you went to see her and a reporter came out. <laughs> Why did you I steal this joke and reword it? To pick somebody line. up. <laughs> and then I'll just do it. Yeah. Those the, losers. The guy had a good line and I figured I'd reword it and you do the impression and we and both... I'd jump on your coattails. As I was dying, you figured you'd go down with the ship. <laughs> And one more for you, please. I that fucking pal talk is its own little environment. Oh, yeah. All right, there <laughs> you go. Uh, we're back live. Let's go to Amanda in Brooklyn. Amanda. Hey, Opie, how are you? All right. Good. Just want to say I think you're at the epitome of bad slugs. <laughs> ah, right. the epitome. <laughs> they, they remember um, all of them. Thank you, Amanda. Epitome. Jeez. <laughs> uh, 
That would be epitome. Ah. See? I you learned. know, the way that's spelt, though, when you look at it, it looks like epitome. <laughs> at 6 in the morning, it sure does. Epitome. Uh, the next bomb is uh, is me. <laughs> yes, uh, the star of this uh, volume of bombs. Thanks, Than. Sorry. Another one from me. Black, shiny shirt with, right. like, silver, tribal. awful tribal markings on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. What, what tribe would that Steve be? Shirt, <laughs> the fucking Cherokee cock lovers? <laughs> <laughs> that is awful, that shirt. Perhaps, uh, perhaps that's who that's who came up with this. So this is another eBay special. I love it. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying these shirts. You're less shirts. than a year away from wearing bow ties. Bow t- <laughs> Maybe. That's funny. Come I didn't. On. I only heard bow ties. Uh, a year away from wearing bow... Nothing. Uh, what, why would you wear bow ties? It would be an odd way of dress. Okay, yeah, it's good. odd. I'm not... You know, I don't but know. Is, is the bow tie thing gay? I don't... I really... That was the only I'm, one I had I'm today. I'm sorry, huh? Opie. <laughs> That's the crash, yeah. Oh, but I, I don't have anything else today. That was, that was the one I wrote. <laughs> I'm live. Uh, we're live. Uh, I think I might have been high that day, because <laughs> why did, would I think that was good in, on any level? It was a Dublin pub. Thank you, Mike. Mike in Queens. That was the bar. Okay. And finally, the last uh, bomb for today, Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. It's Ant and Jim. Mm. This, well, is, this is called The Pile-Up. It well, just gets real ugly? Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of bombs. All right, here we go. We we end with this one. Is Aww. she black? The girl? She sounds white trash. Okay, I can't Oh, go. really? I thought she sounded uh, like... Black. An, uh, she sounds black African. to you? Because she's black and understand why she'd be afraid of pennies. Because they're made of copper. <laughs> and black <laughs> people are scared of the coppers. <laughs> right. Back in 1937. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Hey, copper. Too bad they weren't made of keystone as well. Yeah. It would have been a better joke. I was in prison and I'm afraid of lousy screws now. <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I, I, I don't put Swiss on my uh, sandwiches. I was a crook, and I always uh, heard cheese it, and it went cheese at the cops. I, yeah, I went a long way. Wow! <laughs> really, I wow. tripped over that one so badly. And you bailed me out of my awful joke. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with trying to trying to go on the heels of a bad one to make yourself look better, and just pumping out something worse. <laughs> Poor shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. Here was Jimmy, and I followed it up with this. <laughs> I oh, it's not over yet. I I smashed the guardrail. You got into a rig and rear-ended the SUV full of children. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back live. <laughs> That was pretty bad. You didn't like those jokes? No. Steve probably didn't like that joke either. <laughs> <laughs> joke diva. Joke diva. And there you go. Bombs and Flubs, Volume 4. Bam! Good job, Than. Very good job. You want to do some bombs before we get out of here? Yes. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, we haven't done bombs, uh, bombs and flubs. We usually uh, call it in quite a while. No. Um, we celebrate. No, it's uh, when somebody fucks up on this program. I love this bit because there's only one. Well, do it. Do the bit. 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 <laughs> Can I say that this yeah. bit was stolen from us, by the way? The bombs and flubs bit. The bombs bit was stolen by Maxwell, and he's been doing it from three to seven, <laughs> five days a week. Swim walk. Do the bit! <laughs> Do the bit is one. I will say this, and I mean this. That's one of my favorite fucking things right now. Yeah. Is I know. That, Just to Do say. the bit! Do the bit! Do the bit! <laughs> Do the bit. bit! Do the bit! All right. Hey, uh, what I love about this bit. No. My health doesn't allow it. We got ten bombs to do, <laughs> yeah. and only one from me. Wow. Because I don't take many chances. Well, how That's many flubs are there, then? Uh, <laughs> one. <laughs> one flub. No way, really? Just because I don't take as many chances. Oh. I, I like to, like, you know, pick my spot. <laughs> I like going with quantity and hoping for the best. <laughs> I like to pick my spot. <laughs> yeah. Kind of... I let Bob and weave, and then I let a lot of balls go by me <laughs> before I, I swing at one. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no. Oh, please. I catch it with my mouth and face. <laughs> uh, all right. The first bomb is from uh, little Jimmy Norton. Bullshit. Uh, the author, this is a fix. Impossible. The author of I Hate Your Guts. Mm-hmm. Now cool. on bookshelves. It is on bookshelves. It's always cool to see like hundreds and hundreds of these books because we get to go like. Uh, 
behind the scenes at these bookstores, and they're just piled up waiting to go on the shelves, Jimmy. Very exciting. Yeah, it, it, I'm really, I am very psyched about this one. All right, here's uh, Jim uh, doing a little bombing. And he had to walk against traffic, actually, because it was uh, Columbus Avenue. And he said, you know what, this is uh, safer than staying on the sidewalk with yeah, these animals faster, that are bothering faster, me. Faster, yeah. So He should have just started running on the, on the hoods of the cars with the dance scene in fame. <laughs> you know, I do the same thing. I, I have to walk Stop. against traffic, too, because so many people want to buy them. <laughs> do the biff! Do the biff! Do the biff! I actually thought that was kind of funny. No, I think that conjured up an image. That's the, the new bit should be us not listening because I think that was a, a case of no one listening to what Jimmy was saying. I think I fucked up the way I uh -huh. when I said I think I delivered the, the, the I tripped yeah, on a word. You lost confidence because you tripped a little. I at tripped first. on a word yeah. and it just wrecked the whole bit. Yeah. Oh, McCain's bitch and absentee ballots not sent to military in time for returns. That could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Military, uh, for the most part, yeah, they vote uh, third party usually. Clinton cast ballots for Obama. Of course. Nice. Hope so. All right. Here's another bomb. We go to Ann. Hey, how do you turn yeah. the economy around? Oh, that's easy. Comedy clubs. You, uh, you look behind you. You turn the wheel. I have no idea. And that's... Can we just have... <laughs> can we have something just... W which is called Buy Something Day? What? <laughs> oh, man. I hear... <laughs> I, I almost don't want to eat my food. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> Do the bit! <laughs> and comes back with a fadeaway uppercut. <laughs> I just kind of put a jab in there at the end, but wow. Yeah. I, get, I love it when I, I say a bomb, and I just hear him and go... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun to hear Uncle Anthony do that. You just turn the... <laughs> turn the wheel and... Oh, Oh, well, I'm out of gas I'm on, here. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I fucking love these. I know. They're great. All right. Here's the next bomb. <laughs> oh, that's the Foundry Music <laughs> logo. Stupid Foundry Jesus, logo. Steve. Like, it, like it's your exclusive video? The thing's all over the place. If it was over your house, it would have been an unidentified phallic object. Oh, but uh, I'm wow, waiting for... Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move right on. <laughs> I was gonna move right on. You really Bailey out. Anthony moved on like he opened a, a bedroom door and caught me sucking a dick and then closed it and just kept walking. <laughs> Great party. Yeah. <laughs> me in a little pig mask. <laughs> blown, getting blown by a fellow in a pig mask while a guy tries to kill his wife and some of an axe. What a fucking hang. It just closes the door and goes, Yup, I always knew and just uh -huh. continues on with his move life. Move on. I don't uh, like the way O put on Ant what he would have said. <laughs> <laughs> well, the naked cowboy is what? voting for a McCain. That's crazy. You know why? why? That fucker makes a mint. He doesn't want to be taxed either. You know, that guy makes a fortune. His boots are full of cash at any given moment. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. We had that guy on our show. We hated him. Yeah, he's God, did we asshole. hate that guy. He's good chest, though. Does it, Jimmy? It's yeah. very muscular. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why is he voting for McCain? I don't know. Maybe the Jesus tattoo? Oh. Yeah, he's got is that a Jesus tattoo? It looked like mankind. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. It was Jesus it was a little chubby then. You know what Jimmy said to me after the book swimming. signing? Hmm. We leave the bookstore, and there is the biggest advertisement for uh, for uh, for uh, mankind. McFoley. Oh, yeah. Like it's it's like literally five stories. It's his head. Wow. And Jimmy goes, wow, I guess he is famous. I only I know Mick Foley. I know he's a famous wrestler, but it doesn't it doesn't mean anything to me because I really haven't watched wrestling. Yeah. So Mick to me is just fucking. I know Mick's a wrestler. I mean, I acknowledge he's a famous dude, but it doesn't affect me when he comes in just because I don't watch wrestling. So he's just fucking Mick. Like I, I he's a great guy. He is. He's one, a fun guest. He's one of the most him on the famous side of a building like that. He's one of the most famous guys we've ever had on the show because he's known all over the world. It's funny. I I would never because he doesn't carry himself like that. He's just such a regular no. dude. Um, and he's just a fun guy to fucking do radio with. There's nothing pretentious about him at all. He's totally honest. Yep. He's great. I yeah. like Foley a lot. Man. Yeah, they're pushing him. Uh, what, Spike TV? Right? Is that what they know? Uh, Sam will no, tell me. No, we no, should no. get a plug in for that. Yeah, no, Here's no. the next bomb. 31-year-old Francesco Otera were arrested and released without bail. De Jesus is the principal of Sacred Heart School for the Arts in Mount Vernon. A third man possibly involved remains at large. I thought he was in Mount Franco. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they, uh, they needed to get it. Oh, wait, can I ask who the guy at large is? <laughs> yeah. like, they're not going to catch him. No. <laughs> Let's go to, left his penis in the yard. All right, you got me. It's mine. 
the guy at large. Maybe he's the guy at small. <laughs> wow. Oh, he turned around. He's, he's facing away right now. He had to so turn around. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, what why? the fuck does that even mean? Uh, That's a word, you then. Dope from three months ago, <laughs> you idiot. What the hell's wrong with you? you? Go back in time and smack yourself. Oh boy, would I. <laughs> but what's funnier than a well placed fucking Homer boo? Oh yeah. <laughs> god, is that great? All right, we move on with uh, bombs and flubs. Yeah, okay. if you're calling this show today, you got to use big words, please. Uh, we want to up the, our game a little bit. Keith is super califragilistic, expialidocious. Douches. Yes. Right. Clutch, yeah. Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know my scalp is tingling? <laughs> <laughs> Do the bit. Do the bit. Uh, it just makes you really uncomfortable to hear these. Here's the next one. Another bomb. Because most business travelers <clears throat> have a, a carry-on yeah. or U.S. Airways. They stink anyway. Oh, U.S. Airways? They're terrible. Yeah, all right. Hey, let's uh, go back to Kent. Uh, this started with Fat Princess, the video game. Is it really bent? Uh, huh? Hey, what's up, wow. guys? Uh, <laughs> what's up, Kent? <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I, I, went to, uh, I went to E3 this year where they debuted this game. Um, <laughs> we're back uh, to Jim. Yeah. And here's the, and I will, I will confess this. When you answered a call today from a guy whose name was Ken. Yeah. But, uh, we thought it was Kent. Remember you said, hey, Kent, and he goes, it's Ken? Yeah. I almost said, is it so long it's bent? And I didn't because he corrected it and said it's Ken. Oh. Not from that joke. So, so you were going to do it again today? I didn't even remember that I'd ever done it. Wow. Well, there you go. You that would have been... This is humiliating. This could be the best one of the of the batch. So the, well, the problem is, is that we don't. Uh, I want to put a fence down, and the neighbor says, "No, I cannot do it because that is on his property." And it's just this back and forth argument. I, I don't know what to do, Tank. Hmm. You have a dog. Oh, a, what's that? You have a dog. I, I don't. I don't have a dog. No. Don't have a dog. All right. Well, <laughs> you should build the fence up and uh, build it around his car and the garage. Lock him in there, and then make him take it down. All right, so build a fence. Uh, let, me, let me get this down. Build a fence around his car and lock him in there. Boo. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, boo. <laughs> Tank hacker stinks. Oh, he is the worst. Uh, build a fence around his garage and... <laughs> Do the Wow. That was a really bad one. I, I, before we go on, please. Yeah. I really want to talk to Tank Hankerus for a second. <laughs> Tank Hankerus. Please. Where is Tank Hankerus today? Where's Tank? Tank. <laughs> Can you hear Tank? <laughs> Tank Hankerus <laughs> is a dummy. <laughs> oh, no sense of humor. Wow, here comes Tank. Where's Tank? Hey, Tank. Hi, Tank. What's going on, Tank? <laughs> no. What? Hi, Tank. Hi. That doesn't sound like tank. Yeah, there's no tank. I'm there is a tank. At this. No, you gotta <laughs> no. do tank. I know, and you don't say that unless we're talking about life. Hey, yeah. what was that voice? Yeah, do tank for us. Uh, hey, my everybody, tank. everybody needs Come to hear on. tank today. Hey, it's tank. <laughs> All right, tank. Hi, tank. Who are you voting for in the election? McCain. Why uh, are you voting for McCain? We all know why people vote for McCain. Why? I don't really feel comfortable saying it right on the radio. <laughs> wow, Tank's a rebel. So, um... Why am I doing this? I don't know who you're talking about. What, what should we breathing? do? breathing? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do about this Maxwell situation, Tank? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tank Hankerous. <laughs> Tank Hankerus has Down syndrome. <laughs> Tank, what should we do? Talk into the mic. Tank, help us out. We Tank relax. wants to kill himself is pretty much what it is. <laughs> Tank well, Carlesius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, they should. Boy, would that be a wonderful thing. Work off each other. Yeah. <laughs> Get Steve in here. <laughs> Steve and Tank Hankerus. T Tank Hankerus and Steve Stankerus. <laughs> <laughs> 
here comes Steve to yeah, do a little go. improv with Tank. All right. We want to talk about politics, yeah. and we would like you and Tank to improv a little bit. Well, do Steve, a little debate, maybe. Wait, Steve, you're an Obama guy, right? Yeah. All right, Obama. All right, Obama and McCain debate between Tank Hankers and Stephen Carr. But that's kind of funny. Yeah. Go ahead, well, Steve. Why don't you start it? So, Tank, who... Uh, who are you voting for? I hear you're uh, leaning towards ass, that asshole. Listen to the show. <laughs> well, Fair enough. Point tank. Uh, point tank. Um, actually, I, I was about to say I hear you're uh, a routine guy. Yes. <laughs> Good technique, uh, by the way. After he calls you an asshole, go, well, what I was about to say. <laughs> and say it anyway. What He's I was just... about to say, you flabby-necked faggot, uh, was <laughs> Ooh, that um, ooh, ooh. I hear you're a McCain guy. Uh, and uh, Why? Debate, not an interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! Sam, remember like the other day when I told you that you've mastered the art of antagonism without getting your skull cracking? Do the bit. <laughs> uh, do the bit. Dangerously close to crossing that line. Oh, yeah, do the bit. Yes. That is how we solve things. I just want to remind Tank that he is in character and he is on the radio. So, yeah, yeah. Dad, continue, Tank. tank. Uh, Tank is not voting for, uh, for, uh, <laughs> for Obama. <laughs> Don't you realize that Obama would signify a great deal of change for this country? For you this? just want gay marriage, homo. <laughs> well, in addition to gay marriage, I think there would be a Fucking substantial... Queer. <laughs> Do you do you appreciate? You're not arguing that point. What? You're not arguing that point. <laughs> uh, you can think what you want. Case closed. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yes. I've got him just where I want him. Falls on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> oh, Steve. I love you. Uh, th thank you, Sam. Sam. You have any comments about the? Uh, the debate <laughs> you just saw? I thought Tank was good. I think we should hear more from Tank. Yeah. Yeah. Tank's great. Can we hear more from Tank? Oh, Tank. No, Steve, you got to be here to uh, answer. Okay. Don't you understand? This is work right now. No, I, this I, is the most I, important I thing that. happening. That's right, on the air. Yeah. Yeah, so, what, what are you, your sweating. palms sweating there, Tank? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I might be perspiring. <laughs> Ew. Oh, it's bad. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Oh, I can't really see his face. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he's all wet. <laughs> you can feel Tank's it. all wet under the armpits. Why are you wet under the armpits? Tank? Why are you pitting out, Tank? Yeah. I'm working out. What, spoon to mouth? <laughs> oh, 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 Steve! Wow. Stephen Carr! Uh, coming from the fat queer, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fat what? Good point. <laughs> 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 Vote McCain. I don't know. I, I you don't need queers uh, like this in the office. I bet you I'd see you butt fucking a guy in a shower before you, you know ever see me going down You'd know a lot about that, wouldn't you, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some gay porn. I think you've been in some gay porn. No, I oh, haven't. Said that with confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He shows it in the office instead of working. Yeah. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to win this, Steve. I don't give a shit, Eric. <laughs> I've got so much other it's shit not to do. Eric, it's Tank. It's tank. tank. Tank, you big sweaty queer who needs to run a few miles every night every fucking morning. Case in point, look at you. Did I do? How can you? Oh my god. I don't hide the fat. You had surgery and claim you don't eat carbs, but what were you eating earlier? A fucking Red. pretzel rod? Carbs. <laughs> a fucking pretzel rod. Carbs. Without without the pesky pretzel part. <laughs> That's right. Are you insinuating that I suck dicks at a rod? Everyone's yes. insinuating you suck dicks. <laughs> I'm not a man of many words, but I know what I know. <laughs> really? You're a man of many pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and many necks. <laughs> <laughs> now you're saying that? Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's been it's been fucking evident. So in closing, I'd like you to vote for McCain. God bless America. Your turn, queer. <laughs> vote for Obama. He's got no point. 
All right, get that. <laughs> oh, Thank man. you, uh, Tank Hankerus and, and Stephen Carr. Carr. Just amazing. <laughs> Great debate. I would call that a draw. But <laughs> yes, <was> definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. All right. Exactly. Let's. <laughs> That's Stephen. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I love Steve. <laughs> rolls. Let's finish up the bomb. It does roll. Yeah. <laughs> a bomb from uh, Jimmy. Sorry. What? Sorry, Jimmy. This must have no. been day priced up it. Impossible. I'm sorry, Jimmy. It happens. It's impossible. She just looks like <laughs> she, she, she's she's terrible. It really. I, I, I don't mind her ligaments, but she really looks bad. Madonna. It and almost this, looks like she has like uh, bicep implants or something or shoulder implants. How do you get your shoulders like that? <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? Yeah, you have, you have <sighs> private chef. Like, look at her biceps, though. There's, they're, they're hanging over her elbow. Yeah, in shape. That one is, nah. That's a uh, shredded that's, Ethiopian. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the look she's going for. Her name should be like Doc Pole. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Holy <nothing>. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Dude, the best. Yeah. So code in the day. I'm very rarely embarrassed after a joke is so bad. I that was, was really trying, bad. I knew what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't even know what that could have possibly meant. I, I don't either. Back live now. Doc. I'll tell you what it equaled. Silence. <laughs> but I can't tell you what it meant. Here's here's Voss bombing. Has now been arrested? A hundred and something times. Milestone. Is it time? Uh, how many times he's been arrested? Yes. Or what yes. for? Oh, okay. It's a milestone. I will say... One thousand times. That's that. That's that would be impossible. I'm sticking with it. That's impossible. Because I don't care if I win or not. I'm gonna go with. How it. can how can I'm you go saying with a thousand? A thousand. That's, that's insane. I'm saying a thousand. It's not, not enough days. It would be arrested what? a thousand. I times. read this story and I can't remember if it's a hundred or a thousand, but it's one of those. I'm stuff. saying a thousand. A hundred. Uh, a hundred. It's easy. Child support. <laughs> Holy moron! He's thinking about what Bonnie's gonna ask for when she leaves him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Voss was completely out of the discussion and just popped it with that. Kyle Savard. What is he talking about? I don't know. And finally, the last bomb for today. Billy in New York, how are you? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, what's up, guys? What's Listen, up, Billy? Uh, uh, McCain's advisor, Warren something or another, wrote a book named The Lipstick on a Pig, and it explained how to use it in a political sense. How to uh, use the metaphor. Uh, fascinating. Obama's off the hook. Let's oh, make it official. The, oh, the guy's last name that you were talking about, by the way, was Peace. Excuse me? Boo! <laughs> wow. Oh, excuse me? That was, that was a colossal bomb. <laughs> Do the biff! <laughs> <laughs> the guy's name was Warren. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah, Warren right now. Peace. All right. Book to book. Good job. <laughs> yeah. We'll have more tomorrow on that. This guy's last name was Peace. What did I expect? <laughs> what could have happened besides a nothing? <laughs> besides a nothing. Uh, Rich Boss, bombs and flubs for 2008. I this is your big do other day, stuff Rich. first. Jesus. No, we'll do this first. It's like yeah. the year in uh, review. Have? They love you. Yeah, Rich. <laughs> there was a couple of funny lines this year. All right, we can play Name the Celebrity again. No, no, go to bombs <laughs> yeah. and flubs. Oh, go to bombs and flubs. Yeah. All right, we're going to do Bobs and Flubs, starring Rich Voss. Oh. The year-end uh, edition. We'll start with this one. Rich has no idea what we're talking about and decides to jump in anyway. Has now been arrested? A hundred, hundred and something times. Milestone. Is it time? Uh, how many times he's been arrested? Yes. Or what yes. for? Oh, okay. It's a milestone. I will say... One thousand times. That's that. That's that would be impossible. I'm sticking with it. That's impossible. Because I don't care if I win or not. I'm gonna go with. How could? How can I'm you saying go with a thousand. A thousand. That's, that's insane. I'm saying a thousand. It's not, not enough days. It would be a thousand. I times. read this story and I can't remember if it's a hundred or a thousand, but it's one of those. I'm stuff. saying a thousand. Uh, a hundred. It's easy. Child support. <laughs> Holy moron! He's thinking about what Bonnie's gonna ask for when she leaves him. <laughs> You weren't listening. Wow. What? Yeah, you just <laughs> blurted. You just blurted that out. Yeah, right. that was kind of a. I kind of remember that one. Another bomb from Rich. Uh, Rich tells what uh, Colin is eating. Colin Quinn. What? What? He has an egg white. What are you doing? I'm trying to help Colin. What Much of my eating? friend hurt himself. What is he eating? Like, uh, right. he eating? Was he eating? Or an apple turnover? Fifth and yet. sixth grade. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> 
fuck does that mean? Kennedy <laughs> suffered back uh, I think you, you meant he was covering oh, up childhood wow. things. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good line. It's not a good line. Yeah, that's a good line. You're right. It's not because, a good line yes. if the question is what comes after fourth grade. No, it's a good line. <laughs> it's because, never a good line. Yes, yes, because he's, he's burying feelings. I got it. So it was a great line. It was a terrible time. line, even mm. though I got it. It's like, what's he eating? You should have said something that covered no, the it's... memories, not fifth and sixth grade. It was too vague. It was not like you. No, it's not too vague. It's too. It's too obscure. It makes you think. And no, it's like what did you he got it? Maybe what did, he, what did he swallow? Is different because you swallow that. You, you, don't, yeah. you don't eat your anger. Excuse me, guys that are swallowing getting paid it is the, is the now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, God, that would mean you. What do you think? I get a check when certain other people don't? What a fucking illusion are you under? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's strong, Rich. Uh, another bomb from Rich Voss. Why would Colin climb a tree? We find out. <laughs> what, were you, what did you want to play? Uh, oh. Well, it, it's just that it's on the same uh, CD, and it's one of our favorites, the the, the Screaming Tree People. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you heard yes. this one, Colin? The Screaming Trees? Yes. You did hear no, this one? Not the band. No, not the band. <laughs> no, I did hear you guys heard it. Colin cl the, the climbs one. Here's that was the thing. Why would I? Climb one. Why yeah. would I, I don't know. Do you think this thing's through? What are you doing? Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of this is coming from one day. That might have been a bad day. Second of all, he's a, this the tree is screaming because Colin at the time was a little big. Well, it could have been 10 minutes ago. He's still fat. We... I'm not going to attack it. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. We're about to so, play the bomb of the year from you. We get where you're going. Yeah, no one didn't get I it, I think Rich. the fifth and sixth grade one is really good, though. We know you do. Oh, God, he's still on that one? Yeah. You know what's a good bit? Woody Allen's bit on how his father worked at Coney Island and Woody could never knock over the milk bottles. That was a good bit. And then the tidal wave came, did about a million dollars worth of damage, and the only thing left standing were those little milk bottles. <laughs> That's a good bit. That's a good bit. What was Colin eating? Fifth and sixth grade is the blurted out remark of an idiot. And I love you. You know I love you very much. Listen, but that was a terrible line. I have terrible lines all the time. It's part of life. This is uncomfortable for everybody. No, it's not. Everybody's no, fine I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I'm just watching the clock. Got to yeah. make sure I stay until 11 o'clock so I don't get in trouble. Nah. Uh, here is possibly the bomb of the year from you, Rich Voss. Wow. How's that muffin? Can I have a bite? I'm so hungry. Do you really think I'm going to fall for that so you can smash it? Oh, yeah. It looks like a period soaked up in it. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's great. What's oh. on top there? That's so you, it's, it's well, exactly really, what, what is it? Is. What do you it's order? Mama a Cass's heavy day last corn tampon. I'm oh, sorry, I'm stepping all over each other over here. Let's just trot upon each other. Can I get a heavy day corn muffin? <laughs> okay, that's good. And uh, <laughs> why would you say you think I'm going to fall for that? Yeah, I do. You yes. gave me your coat and ended up in the garbage pail. You did. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That was hey, today, Rich. Did you have to because address? you think I'm going to fall for that. Right. You fell for it uh, an hour ago. Right. <laughs> well, but, hey, did it cost extra for them to cut the string off that muffin? <laughs> Get it? Bloody cut joke. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> <laughs> I figured Anson Nix did well. I would jump in and make a bloody cunt joke about your fucking rotten, clotted muffin. I hate your clotted muffin. <laughs> that fucking yeah. muffin should it's like be laying a giant ass polyp. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jacqueline Kennedy should be trying to pick half of that muffin up <laughs> off the back of a fucking limo. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I, I, like I, a corn I, muffin, muffin like a, should be... It's a corn muffin with an exit wound. <laughs> it should, should be on the bathroom floor yeah. with children's furniture <laughs> out by the curb. <laughs> 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 oh, a brand new one, fucking <laughs> folded up. It still smells new. It still has those little packing peanuts and flex oh, on the outside of it. Oh, the pain of taking take down that little level. mobile. <laughs> he just rip it down. Pain comes out. Yeah, sheetrock comes out of the ceiling. Nick. So angry. <laughs> He's in, take a break. This a could be a while. Side by the curb. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to get a chick to lactate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least another five minutes. Uh, uh, no. At least. We're, at least. we're terrible. This is gross. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm offended. We, can we play the rough? <laughs> <laughs> but the bright side is you have a new office that nobody will want to go in. <laughs> no. You can almost see the unicorns through the paint. <laughs> 
<laughs> trying to do your paperwork. <laughs> to stare up. That's see funny. stars and angels. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should have got rid of the dolphin curtains <laughs> before I moved my desk in. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! God, oh. is it just fucking ruthless, man? Woo. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Where uh, where were we? Fifth, fifth and sixth grade. All right, fifth and sixth. French. Just terrible. Rich, you got a third ear in your head? I should know about. <laughs> fucking yeah. headphones are. <laughs> oh, he always wears them like a fucking. Is one is up on his hat. It hurts my ear this year. Oh, cancer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, what what ailment is that? Possibly the bomb of the year from Rich Voss. Here it goes. Yeah, you just start looking, going. I got to get out of here. It's gonna be traffic. <laughs> Tanker explodes in Massachusetts. Is wow. it mass? My dad drives an old tanker, Massachusetts. Wow, you talk oh. about a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that wasn't it. That was. I have never heard silence like that. <laughs> and I've been in the woods camping, <laughs> fucking by myself in fucking Maine. <laughs> Holy shit! Here's the thing. What? The line after that got fucking line of the day. You cut it off right there. It's called deceiving. It's called bombs and flubs with yeah. Rich Voss, you idiot. Are they taking you out of context? Right? Yes, yeah. they are. Oh, uh, look at them. They're fucking liberals. The what was it? <laughs> <laughs> liberals. Yeah. That's a good way. Voss is going to go and punch Anthony's <laughs> muffin. <laughs> he punched my sandwich. No, it's a panini. But it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. He made it a panini. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he actually broke his little turtle finger hands on the sandwich. <laughs> Rich just planted his fist in Anthony's sandwich. It did no damage. Of course it did. What the fuck is wrong with you, Rich? It looked like a cat paw print. Yeah. yeah, there's like nothing wrong with this sandwich. I, I could be a fucking, I, I could be a marionette. I mean, the puppet hand coming down. I've done more damage than that. I didn't want to really hurt it. It's like a bird stepped on it. It looks little fingers. It's fucking awful. It bounced right back, that sandwich. I know. Pretty oh, amazing. Perfect. You never know that sandwich was just punched. Yeah. No. Right, Only Voss his... can break his hand on a club sandwich. <laughs> Weakling? Yes. Voss took four rounds to knock out the turkey sandwich. <laughs> Straight right hand to the tomato. <laughs> All right. That was cute. Uh, we're going to do flubs now with Rich Voss. Ah. I thought we were done. You said that was the, the bombs of the bombs and flubs. You want to sell these on your website, Rich. Yeah. This could be fun. We'll give this disc to you. You put it up on your website. Here we go. Rich tells everyone where you can buy his DVD. RichBossDVDAmazon.com. This is a good place to leave it. Oh, Amazon.com. <laughs> Did you just say Amazon.com? Amazon. That's where you should go for Voss's uh, DVD. Yeah. Amazon.com. Amazon. Well, why don't you look at that website? <laughs> what? That's where my DVD is. It's at Amazon. That's where it is. You said Zot. Amazon.com. That's look where at it is. Amazon. He's trying to act, and and his whole face goes limp. It's like you have Bell's palsy when you fucking act. You can't, you can't fib. You can't. You can't tell a fib. I you can't. I like how your whole face goes like this. You're just very yeah. sorry. Like trying ventriloquism. He's trying to lie about a date rape. It's like he's going to stroke. Here's a wonderful flub from Rich Voss. Listen to this one. We'll see. Great minds think a lot. I like. Oh, oh my God! God. Yeah, exactly. I'm Great gonna get lines. All right, lot. Totally oh. correct. I didn't. Voting. It's actually true what he said. <laughs> they do think a lot, Great man. <laughs> wow. The one his trip to England is my favorite line. <laughs> Hopefully, we have that. Hey, holding up the whole elevator, and the whole elevator's just like uh, wilted with from misery. <laughs> he, put his, he put his hand in so it opens. I go, thank you for holding us all up. <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. Yeah. All right. The world evolves around you. There was a, a packed elevator ready to go to the floors. All right. That's please right. tell me what, that I'm not the only one that heard the world evolves around you. I said revolve. You did, person, but without an R. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. Yes. I oh remember God, that one. Bunker, man. The world evolves around you. The world doesn't That's evolve right. around you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I eat it there. <laughs> the world evolves. It's just great. Uh, brilliant. You could feel when the scaffold was cutting across your stomach, right? When the what, Rich? 
the scaffold was cutting across your was stomach. It, was there a scaffold cutting across <laughs> your stomach? I love how Jimmy's right there. Yes. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> he hanging up so you couldn't see. You can see, so but you can see. You can... Looking over the top of it. Hold on. So they took the scaffold, though, and where, where did they cut? What do you mean? Well, the father of your daughter just said that a scaffold was used you know, to was cut you. He was on a building on the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a scaffold. <laughs> a scaffold. In the room. A scaffold. <laughs> I, I, oh, my God. Everybody knows it's a scaffold. Maybe Who I delivered was just... the baby? Two painters? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, what, Rich? A scaffold. Everybody knows that. Maybe I was just daydreaming. A scaffold? A scaffold. That's what cuts you. <laughs> A scalpel. A scalpel. A scalpel. By the way, this is live. Scalpel. This isn't another no. one of the flubs no. that we're playing. This Tomorrow's is our last day of the year. Yeah. Uh, a scalpel. You're saying scalpel now? Yes. All right. Cool. Scalpel. Uh, scalpel. Hey, nice. do you, are you not religious? Really, do you hate to go into chapels? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Scalpel. Do you like scrapple? Mm -hmm. Do you eat scrapple? Yeah. I should have cut a favorite iced tea. <laughs> yeah. Scapple. 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 Indian oh, savages sure. when they would uh, scap yeah. people. Scapple. 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 Hey, oh, right. so you're saying that the Nazis, they were the ones that set the bar? Yeah, yeah, that's so that's right. you. But see, Rich, I live in a time and, and day where they have electric cars and the internet, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> oh, so people you... throwing me on a train to Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't ever have to worry about that. So He's I taking the that. Nazi fucking definition <laughs> yeah. of a Jew. Yeah. And that's what it is. <laughs> get some more Star David tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get some gargoyle ones. Wait, I got a of diamond oil socks. That's what socks. A gargoyle sweater. Gargoyle, whatever. Uh, get some more gargoyle. <laughs> gargoyle. <laughs> and Anthony's line got lost in the laughter. Was, Anthony says, what do you wear? Argoyle socks. <laughs> Gargoyle socks. <laughs> oh my god. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. He just blurts this shit out <laughs> without even a, blinking. A gargoyle. Gargoyle. See, so we yeah. love you, Rich. We put this whole thing together for you today, knowing you were going to be in. <sighs> yeah, it's we a got tribute. One more. A Good. tribute. Oh. You're a fine catalyst to this uh, radio show. There's been some really. Fucking strong moments. We got to put that together. That's boring. Who wants to hear that? That's true. They yeah. want to hear the silliness. And these are all strong moments, by the way. They're fucking yeah. hilarious. Gargoyle is very funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't do that on purpose. That's the. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you did, it wouldn't be funny. Being funny. That's Brian. That's, that's why we call them flubs, you dummy. Exactly. <laughs> not trying. That's the whole. Key. The that's whole bit's called bombs and flubs. Not trying. Yeah, Rich was not trying. trying. <laughs> Let it be known, you're very funny on the stage. And very funny on the radio, just in a different way on the radio. Thank you're, you. You're in complete control on a comedy stage. Complete, my friend. Uh, I, I missed this one. A famous tenor was not at Opie's wedding. I don't know what this is. Oh. Is this a good one? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Is this good? I, yeah, it's I haven't fucking, heard of course it is. All right. The lovely Lindsay was yes. uh, as beautiful as, uh, as everyone thought she would be in her uh, wedding uh, dress. Oh. Isn't that ridiculous when she came walking in? Like wow, that's how a bride yeah. should look. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's like that. That's how a bride should look, not with razor stubble. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, daddy. <laughs> I guess you it want was... me to be a bride this evening. <laughs> I guess it was a secret when it came to Pavarotti. Pavarotti? What's it? Oh, Pavarotti. Ooh. Pavarotti? <laughs> you know, it's it's mere moments after the show started. Mere moments. I've never had any around me. What does that even mean? I don't know what he was even going Pavarazzi? for. Pavarotti? Yeah, yeah. I the guys that take the picture. <laughs> he was trying to say Pavarotti. Yeah, he was trying to say Pavarotti. Why don't they just call him photographers? Pavarotti. <laughs> the Pavarotti. There's always a tenor snapping your picture. Yeah. Oh! He's like singing in your face as he snapped away. Say cheese! <laughs> Uh, Brad Pitt, look this way. <laughs> the Pavarotti wasn't at your wedding. Oh, my God. 
Rich, I'm giving this to you. Maybe you put it on a CD or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. you should. Yeah, is, hidden yeah. track. Hidden tracks. That'd be good. Go old school. Hidden yeah. tracks, right? There you go. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Thank by you. Yeah, this is all you're getting. Oh, now that's my CD's Christmas. gonna reach 17 minutes. That's all you're getting. I get a new one coming out. Yeah. Rich Voss, Heaven Sent. Wonderful. I am. Yeah, the guy, uh, that guy, Coke Logic is and uh, is doing the cover. Uh, Big deal. Sorry. Time for the callers bombing. Ah, for callers real. bombing. Yeah, we suggested this a while ago. So soon. We're because playing. you know you guys enjoy when we bomb on a daily basis. So mm -hmm. we're like, you know what? Fuck you. You guys don't do a good job every day either. Their average isn't very good. And then we forgot about it. And then um, Travis did not, and he's been um, collecting bad, uh, bad uh, callers good. bombing. I got distracted because Brett in Vegas, another honest politician. Yes. Bud R. Dwyer or R. Bud Dwyer? Uh, yes, he R. Bud was. Dwyer was R. very... Dwyer. Probably amongst the most honest of politicians. That's right. Because uh, the second he realized he did something wrong, he fixed that problem. <laughs> All politicians sure should do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he said, this hat doesn't fit me right. <laughs> Let me get it off my head immediately. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, here we go. Here is the first caller bombing. We got ten of these. He should set up the ring in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, telling you, Raw is going to be on next Monday from Denver. Well, I don't doubt it. That's a developing story. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Victor the Trucker. Victor. Hey, morning. How you guys doing? Pretty All good. All right. Hey, I think there should be a tag team match. Get a couple wrestlers against a couple of the ball players, and uh, best out of three, you know, whoever wins gets to have the venue for the night. Then what would happen? You do it that night. That way, everybody is happy. Yeah, but then, yeah, but what happens? How does the game get played, though? Well, you know, you use your third string players. You know, don't use your first string. No, but, but I'm saying, like, how would they get all the people in for one and then out for the other? Doesn't make sense. Oh, it, it makes plenty of sense. You know what you do is first off, you contact Ted's Emporium. You get a you get a couple oh, people to uh, bring Ted in out of some this. movable rings. Ted. You know what? That that was a good joke. You guys screwed it up. Funny <laughs> <laughs> blames all of us. There you go. The first one from Victor the Trucker. He stunk. Victor the Trucker. As we do caller bo callers bombing here. Oh, we know this next trucker. Oh yeah. Oh boy, do we know this oh, next trucker? Okay. All right. Which one is it going to be? Is it Lady Trucker or is it? Let's go to Lady the Trucker. The worst ah. fucking improver in history. LT, what's up? Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, yeah, that second segment you played, the uh, uh, guys are, it was gay talk for uh, uh, Steve's wearing women's uh, pants. What do you mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I'm punching out. <laughs> uh, no, we, were, we were trying to go. I don't know what she was getting at. <laughs> that was so bad. Wow, did she bomb. That was a great bombing by Lady Trugger. Holy shit. What a thud. <laughs> that sounded like her being dropped through your roof from a helicopter. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> right. Norton. Just a wet splash with plaster all over the room. <laughs> e yuck. Is this going well? Should we continue? I of like course. it. All right. Here's the next one. Let's say hi to Tony in Maryland. Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey. What's up? Uh, I just wanted to say, I think uh, McCain will start looking like uh, Dan Aykroyd in Nothing But Trouble. <laughs> Vulcanizer. <laughs> and then he goes. <laughs> with his nose coming off and everything. Like yeah. That. Not one of them. Not one of uh, Aykroyd's more popular movies. Wait, well, I actually couldn't. Oh, no, do you know, I couldn't. Not. I couldn't hear the line. <laughs> what, what line did you actually say? Yeah, Jimmy uh, just uh, entered the studio. Here. His, his, he looked like who? Dan Aykroyd. I heard you. Dan <laughs> 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 I love that. Oh, what a dick! <laughs> All right. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. Remember Brian? Brian. No. Brian the caller? Sure I will. You'll remember this. Brian of the Poconos is not a fan of uh, Steve the Whistler. What's wrong? Wow. What's wrong, Brian? Good evening. Hello. <laughs> hey, happy birthday there, sugar nipple. Hey, Brian. Let's all just have hey, a uh, summer laugh today. This is the oh. guy we should take him and fucking uh, get him a chimpanzee and let him go bring a cake to him let his fucking ch chimp get ready to rip off. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, this is going great. I'm to you guys forever. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, those, these are cringeworthy. That was a monumental <laughs> bomb. Oh, fuck. His brain could not fucking get to his mouth in time. He was stuttering <laughs> he and, was and having a stroke. Humming a humming a humming Dude, can we please shit. hear that one one more time? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. That, that was a bomb of epic proportions. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Brian of the Poconos is not a fan of uh, Steve the Whistler. What's wrong? Wow. What's wrong, Brian? Good evening. Hello. <laughs> hey, happy birthday there, sugar nipples. Hey, Brian. Let's all just have hey, a stoner uh, laugh today. This, this oh. guy, we should take him and fucking uh, get him a chimpanzee and let him go deliver, bring a cake to him and let his fucking ch chimp get ready to rip off. Oh, <laughs> 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 this is going great. you guys forever. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy mackerel that he shit the bed. <laughs> oh, man. That could be the best one. That's a great that one. That is taking both your balls and shoving them in your mouth and just nibbling. Yeah, he looked He looked like he was trying to deliver a joke while standing in the middle of a fucking crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> like he was trying to look out for bullets and get the joke out quickly. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. It's going to pain me to play the next one. This person has done so much for the Opie and Anthony show. Really? Either Coke Logic or Steven? Right. We know oh, it's not so Steve much. C or E Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, stupid and stupid. <laughs> Poor E Rock. He hasn't even done anything. Exactly. I know. You know what he's so doing bad. right now? He's just sweating and just, oh, know, just trying to get something to contribute to the show. Where is he right and now? He's All he thinks about on is the something. show 24 hours a day. Oh, I know. He's always archiving things that no one will ever need. <laughs> right, <he does. laughs> this is times you started sentences with a verb in the mid 80s. Thanks, asshole face. <laughs> he is the king of busy work. He already knows busy. He knows how to keep uh, himself busy with just yeah. mundane tasks. Oh, when the brass walks by and looks in that office, he yeah. is fucking uh, looking like he's working. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, here mm -hmm. we go. It's uh, <laughs> it's the creator of American Day. It is Coke Logic. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Where can the people check out American Day? He begged yeah, me to retweet we got that it. Yeah, yesterday. I know. Yeah. He, he Did you on, retweet? He was on my ass about it, too, but I didn't retweet. I was on the shitter this morning. Uh, I yeah. usually don't before I take a pre-leave uh, for work uh, dump, so I didn't have time. I don't know. I, where, where is it? No, all right. Whatever. Danny will find it. But here's Coke Logic mm. as we listen to some of the callers bombing over the last couple of mm. months or so. Uh, Sam, we got a, one of your fans on the line. Very, oh, very good wow. news. Oh, cool. it's actually uh, Coke Logic. Uh, Coke Logic, a fan of Sam. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, cool. Yes, I am. I am a fan of Sam, but I think we could do two birds of one stone. Oh, two birds of one stone. I'm oh, an boy. asshole. Yeah. Uh, you still there? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> rough. Oh, yeah. You, you, you had a chance to step back on the gas there. He goes, he was really hoping that, that there would just yeah, be a dial was, tone at that yeah. point. Yes, we're still here at Coke Logic. I was really hoping you guys cut me off to sit, spare me there. There goes Coke Logic. Oh. It's tinyurl.com slash America Day. If you haven't checked that out yet, please do so if you're a fan of the show. That tiny Thank URL you. thing. Yeah, that thing. My rules. goodness, huh? And I didn't know you could make your own. It's stupid make me. Make your own. I put it in project. there and you then all of a sudden. paper mache and paint. And it's all some letters and numbers and you don't know if it's a zero <laughs> or an O. You get all confused. Yeah, it's but easy. You can make your own. I didn't know yep. that. It's, it's a great website, though. Tinyurl.com. Mm -hmm. In this case, slash America Day. Uh, the next bomb from the caller, right? Wow, there's a long one. Okay. Oh, well. Let's l listen to Marie good. bombing. Marie. Uh, hold on a minute. Marie in God. North Carolina. Marie. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. The song playing on the radio, Pussy Control. Yep. <laughs> How you guys doing? I listen to you guys all the time. That's the first time I've ever got on the radio. And uh, what song we're playing? Pussy Control. Yep. Pussy Control. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> so why are you uh, calling about that? Huh? Why are you calling about that? <laughs> Oof. I can't hear you. I'm in a real bad area. I'm in North Carolina right now. I'm traveling. Yeah. Why are you calling about the song we're playing? 
Well, because they've been trying to get through to tell you the name of the song on the radio that was playing while he was raping her. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> wow. See. Yeah. Pussy Control was playing on the radio. Uh because he was yeah in control of the food. Right. What? That one was so bad it just made me uncomfortable. Yeah, I didn't even know that what one it wasn't, was. That was so bad that one wasn't fun. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It was like what the fuck? And then we're trying to make something out of it. We're trying to shape something mm-hmm. out of shit. Next one, Anthony. Who is this? Nick. Yeah, Nick in New Mexico. Nick. Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. There's only so many good contractors in New York, <laughs> and you know they got all the good ones for Yankee Stadium. All right, hold on. What do you just do, Hold Jimmy? on. We have to address something that just happened. We're Will you playing, pay attention, of course, please? We're playing Jimmy's the not calls. Attention. We're playing the calls that bombed, callers that have bombed, and as we played it, Jimmy... <laughs> answered the recording. <laughs> Can we replay that, Travis? You're yeah. going to hear two Jimmys. Yes. You're going to hear the recorded Jimmy saying thank you, whatever. Jimmy and then just... you're going to hear him say it live today. Sounds like paradise. <laughs> He's got his head down. <laughs> oh, my God. He had his head down doing something, and he heard Jimmy. <laughs> uh, Travis, Anthony, you got that? don't gloat. You once answered a fart. Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, Travis is getting that yeah, clip take for doing with his lithe fingers. Yeah, his very thin, slender, feminine fingers. Yeah. Oh, they're calling him Choke Logic now. That's not uh, nice. Oh. That's not nice, Stephen oh. S. from Bayshore. Well, Stephen S. very confident because right. Stephen S. doesn't call the show. Yeah. Exactly. That's why he can throw uh, out his could, little yeah. barbs. Throw your barbs. Oh. All right, go ahead. Next one, Anthony. Who is this? Nick. Yeah, Nick in New Mexico. Nick. Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 you asshole. Oh, wow. oh, that's great. Thank you. You hear two Jimmys. Oh, and yeah, it's good morning, a... guys. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They've cloned Jimmy. It has happened. <laughs> That's good. Now you could do Jay and the show at the same oh, time. Fantastic. Yes. That's good news. They- more Jimmy's more gooder. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now there's three. I figure the more the merrier. <laughs> at least that's my motto. Jimmy just added a third ant. See, that was yeah. that's what we just did there. Yeah. Oh, we're very clever. <laughs> All right, here's Nick bombing. Yeah, Nick in New Mexico. Nick. Yeah, good morning, guys. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you, Nick. There's only so many good contractors in New York, hmm. and you know they've got all the good ones for Yankee Stadium. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Click. I love the sound of the phone as it's going back to the thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he spun into the Sea of Japan. There were no survivors. Yes. Oof. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Radar should have announced that call. (laughs) Put a mask on. (laughs) It's good to see the callers uh, feeling like we do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. The instant feedback is just lit with people going, I'm nervous as shit here. That it's going to be them. Them. Kevin from Connecticut writes that. Oh, yeah. As well as a few others. Well, now I don't want people to think that this is all I have. Oh, you're holding back. Well, we can only do so many at a time. Oh, my God. That's why it's labeled Volume 1. You got Volume 2? Volume 1. Travis has got a bit for the radio show. Nice. Although they liked you on video, Travis. I'm, I'm very videogenic. I'll add that to bombs and <laughs> Yes, perhaps <laughs> you should. Why videogenic is funny when you take two words and put them together. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I wish I could see his dumb face through that reflection. Yeah, it's pretty good. Anthony, a very familiar voice bombing as we continue with mm. Caller Bombs Volume 1. Okay. I love how the celebrities are calling in lately. This is great. Well, you know, we're a hit show, Ant. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let me say hi to Larry King. Larry. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, hi, Larry. Larry. <laughs> what Larry. I want to know is if the governor goes down there, how the hell is he going to see anything? Oh, Larry. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that awful? Yep. 
are these guys doing walking yeah, around here? They're what? distracting us. Tell them to stop looking at us. The they're the fuck. They're peering. They they're walk peering. by us and they're looky loos. Mm, hate that. Here's another bomb from a caller, Anthony. John and Buffalo. Just snap them over my knee and laugh. <laughs> Hey, boys, I've learned two things today. Yes, One sir. is the only thing gayer than being in the U.S. Navy is being in the Indian Navy, and that Mr. Fabersham is the one who's behind the Nigerian scams. All right, we're going to bring back uh, Lion of the Day. We're going to bring back Lion of the Day. That... <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. It didn't make sense. Now, why would Mr. Fabersham be in charge of the... Like, yeah. It didn't... Like, what... I know, sir. Why don't you just throw a wet bag of shit at the wall and go, <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if this is good. They're so bad. No, they're, they're really bad. That it's good? Yeah. Travis has labeled this one, the last one mm. for today. We'll do this sooner than later, by the way. We'll bring this back... Uh, very soon, Travis, okay? Oh, oh. The greatest bomb ever in the history of callers is what this one is labeled. Fuck, that's a tough order. Let's get right to it. Jamie in Alabama. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Opie. Yeah. Man, we were flying to uh, Costa Rica one time, and it was awesome. This chick got me in the back, gave me a good blowjob. She was a stewardess. <laughs> See, I could have done sounds that. sounds like five different this stories to one. one. That is the you worst so story anyway. I've what? ever heard. Dude. <laughs> that was a bad I like that guy. Okay. She was a stewardess. <laughs> Get it? Ooh. All right, volume two in the near future. All right, why don't we do uh, wow. Caller Bombs volume oh, two. Yay. Here we go. Let's hear what the callers had to contribute. They like jumping down our throats fast enough, don't they? Sure they sure do. do. Well, ha, we turn the tables on you now and play the shit that you blurted out when you were on the phone with us. Turnabout is fair play. Yes. I always say that, even always. when it doesn't apply. Yeah. We start with Why this not? one. God. All right, let's go to Andy. Must be Andy. Just horrible to live with. Andy. You just called in. Is it him again? Yeah. You ever, hey, guys, you ever <laughs> notice how when your producer fucking dies that you get real worried about your job, so you got to tell them how much you hate vacation so they'll fire your fucking ass? Do you ever notice when somebody's not too sure how a call is going to go, they throw in fuck to hope it makes it stronger? <laughs> you ever notice how that doesn't work? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. Holy shit. What? Sorry. What happened? What that really happened? stunk it up. Hmm? Just looking at the, the abominable snowman <laughs> for those Christmas specials. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the one, that's the one I said. I thought Chaz Bono was oh. here when she Yeah. Body. Jesus. There are some. She's a pig. Hey, go get woman. Mr. Gazzo. Want to talk to him? <laughs> Jesus. <Okay>. Horrendous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go to another caller bombing. Anthony, we got Larry King on the line. Oh, Larry! Right. Hey, this is Larry. How are you? <laughs> What's up, Larry? Hey. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thank you, uh, fucking the Larry monster. <laughs> Larry monster. <laughs> Kyra, how important is the airline? <laughs> oh my god. They're horrible. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> don't ruin our Larry Make King bit. What happened? Yeah, what happened on that one? Uh, yeah, we go with Steve in Wyoming, another caller bombing. Yes. Uh, let's go to Steve in Wyoming. Steve. Hey, yes. Hey, I, I got a question. What about if the kids were trying to get like over the wall like in East Berlin? They were just building the balloon to get over the wall. Wow. <laughs> how about build, how about building a balloon to get over the crater that bomb just left? <laughs> Holy <right>. shit. <laughs> he said burn Lynn. Burn Lynn. <laughs> yeah, started I, falling apart. I heard that one. <laughs> burn Lynn. I love when they get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best when a caller just really loses it. Falls his. apart. I'm going to add not. Burn Lynn. <laughs> Got another? Yeah, Jeremy in Georgia. 
Let's go to Jeremy in Georgia. Jeremy. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, uh, I've got the ultimate thing that will make you look like a dork as a midlife crisis statement. Mm -hmm. A shooting spree. <laughs> Nothing says I'm going to get these fuckers back like a shooting spree, but in essence, you just make yourself look like an asshole. He can, he's, he's, now you just ruin like a thousand billion people's lives. See how he's, ah. keeping, he's going and going, hoping to get traction, but it's just... <laughs> <laughs> a thousand billion lives. Yeah, it's very bad. That is fucking. Is that bad? Spiraling oh. out of control. Would that be bad? When a plane is plummeting, that's when the wings are ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a bad one, man. Yeah. Yeah, that one gave me a douche chill. Yeah. The other ones made me chuckle. That one kind of douche chilled me a bit. All right, let's do the next one. Yeah. It's an egg-shaped penis. Egg-shaped. Of all the things, oh. did Mark from Orc live in your penis? <laughs> Bruce. Yeah, is it true that your head is shaped like Club Soda Kenny's head? <laughs> your head. No, it's your <laughs> penis <laughs> is shaped like Club Soda Kenny's oh head. My I already God. said Another that. Another one for the bomb. <laughs> Save that one, Travis. And he repeated my joke, that fuck. Yeah. Head, head. Yeah, head, 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 head. Fucking panicky Pete's. <laughs> Completely collapsed on the phone. I really do. All right, let's go back to the bombs. Uh, oh, Lady Trucker. She's got oh. a nice fucking oh, bomb here. Sure did. I want to sing my version of Immigrant Song. Shut up, Lady Trucker. Jesus. Oh, this should be really good. What's her version? Yeah, let's hear it, uh, LT. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, we got that part. <laughs> Okay, bad morning then. What do you What do you want to sing, Lady Trucker? Oh, I want to sing my version of the immigrant song. Go ahead. Can I do that? Drop, please. Go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, That's what our seat is saying. <laughs> uh, no, her mouth is just open, going ah. <laughs> feed me. Ah. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> is that it, Lady Trucker? That's it, sweetie. So far, so good. Oh, that was terrific. Should end with squealing tires. I know. And sirens. <laughs> I start going. I start going off like a Thumb and Louise type of suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, she sure hangs in there, even though we really beat the shit out of her. Larry King again made uh, the polar bombs. bombs. Larry. Mind if I, me and Michael speak Italian? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi, Larry, Larry King. Yeah. Uh, could you explain why you're the biggest man in that village and there's all these bow-legged women walking around? <sighs> okay, hi, five. That was Larry King? You're gonna, yes, it was. <laughs> you're going to... Hey, just put, think of it this way. Think of the upside. You'll definitely hear yourself saying that again at some point once <laughs> Travis gets done with volume two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. <Yeah. laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in Hoboken. Horrible. Mike. <laughs> Jimmy, this is with the utmost love and respect, but you covered up for a horrendous bomb with your ass. When? Yeah. When uh, when they said uh, that Kim Kardashian was Armenian, and you said, "Well, maybe she's Arnaisian." Oh, I even said after <laughs> I yeah, said I did. bombed, and nobody you heard it. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Travis oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But the, is the country Armenia? Armenia. Or I mean, well, sure. We, how the fuck is he? <laughs> it might be Arnaisian now. Someone misspelled us then. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I love you, Jimmy. The oof is the best part of that. The oof, he just goes, oof. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Wow, that's a, a good bomb. It's a real bloodbath. <laughs> what the fuck are we listening to in here? I have to... What happened? I have to get under the vent so the air blows it bad, out Jimmy. Of, Jimmy. They're bad today. You, there's something inside of you. Goodness. That is no, it's the devil. There's goodness the in The devil me. is in you. Goodness is in me. Satan. Satan. Wow. Another <laughs> caller bombing. Oh, oh my god. Let's say hi to Mike yeah. in Massachusetts. Mike Top of the morning, Mike. Hey Mike. What's up, man? Hey, little okay. earlier, like half an hour ago, it called Ope the secret blower, and Ope was like, Oh, I guess I am. There you go. Yeah, yeah, the secret blower. There it is, yeah. <laughs> also, yes. Jesus I figured fucker. out why Aunt like Patrice. Huh. Patrice's name is uh, Pat O'Neill. That's not black at all. Should have quit while you were waiting. Cut me out. All right. Too Let's... late.
What happened? <laughs> yeah. And finally, our, our last uh, caller bombing on volume two here. Uh, let's go to Gill in Connecticut. Gill. Hey, hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, <laughs> hey. I don't remember the other morning I crashed and burned. Nope. But that freaking Randy Spears, he sounds like a fog going from hell. I hope he hits a freaking iceberg. Yeah, he's, I guess he's popular. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love those from hell jokes. Yeah. yeah what, he sounds okay, like a what? I'm sorry, I'm corny, but you guys are cool. Right, he, sounds like, he sounds like a what from hell? Oh. Oh, like a freaking foghorn from hell. Ah, yeah, it's Randy Spears. Oh, I hit a rock. Yeah. I liked it. Oh, then he did All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah. Someone else saying he sounds like Mario. Uh, you, sound like a, you sound like a caller from toilet. <laughs> 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 there you go. And, and can I say from the record, we're back now. Fucking Gil is a horrid name. <laughs> <laughs> Who the? Why are you going after? Just stinks. What do you want to name your kid after? I don't know. How about a fish's breathing apparatus? <laughs> 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 Fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my friend Gil and his, his fucking, his dad, Finn's McGillicuddy. <laughs> Finn's Gil. <laughs> what a shitty name. Gil. Gil. Ugh. I'd rather be called Eyelashes Norton. <laughs> it's my brother, Dorsal Finn. <laughs> I never thought of that. Oh, it's fucking... It's just breathing apparatus. Oh, it stinks, Gil. <laughs> but you're only one of them, so you're worthless. <laughs> hey, Lung, call me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a fucking abysmal name. All right, guys, yeah. Travis has just handed in um, what? Opie Anthony's and Jim's bombs of two thousand nine oh. All right, wow, great. So you got a thirty like... second uh, clip. Oh, see, no, he Very really went after you. you hard because you got ten, Jimmy. Hard. How about how many do we all have? Uh, we got a few. Are we each. all stupid? And who do you want to fun? start with? Um, I'll throw myself under the bus. No, that's what I was thinking. Where really? goes first? The listeners aren't going to remember those bombs. True, that's why I, I know what you're thinking. That's exactly. What that I means was Jimmy's thinking. last. All right, so now it's between you and I. Nice. How about we play pick one? Keep okay, it fair. mine. No, look, no? you got a 50 50 chance right here in your hand. Okay. One disc is my bombs and one is yours. Ready? And. Which one? Right hand. Meaning what? That hand. Is the one out? Your right hand is the one that gets played. Gets played. Played. It's Hopi. Very good. I know. Flubs and bombs of 2009. Okay. Start with this one. Huh? But the Nassau legislature uh, uh, is back in Republican hands, so Swazi doesn't have full reign of... Uh, the is, pen uh, for, you know, whatever he wants to do. Is he over his uh, brother's death? Uh, who? Swazi. Yeah? I don't know. Was he? What? Patrick Swazi. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so bad it's funny. <laughs> Can I tell you, now we're back live, what I liked about that, though, was Ope's very sweet... Patrick Swazi. Patrick, Patrick Swazi. That did actually make it almost not a bomb. It almost. Yeah, yeah. It still was a bomb, but it yeah. made it almost not one. The delivery <laughs> was what kept, almost made it not a bomb, right? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Swazi. Oh, God. Uh, what was the context, though? Hmm? What was the context of that? What do you mean? I don't know. What was I going for there? Uh, Patrick Swazi. No, I know his name, though. You, it really was too loud in here, and you were trying to quiet it down like a library, and you succeeded with that one. <laughs> Swazi? I really know his name, though. Yeah? <clears throat> Swazi? It's Swazi. I know that. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. You know. You're probably just reading it and, you know, yeah, well, being it's silly. Funny. It's funny. All right, we move on to the next one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, and, and before you change the page, Larry the Cable Guy, Health Inspector? Oh, is oh. That, God. Was that a that was that a sequel to Larry the Cable Guy? 
Uh, no, that was his first movie. That was his first movie. He's got to have Larry the Cable Guy in the title. Him into the title. <laughs> you guys don't. Yeah. He's got Delta this. Farce. He's got that. Witless Protection in the top ten. <laughs> I can't listen. I'm sure they're not great this movies, but one. I do think that the critics are going to attack it just because it's Larry the Cable Guy, and they're not going to like his humor. Although I'm sure that they're not great movies. I'm sure the movie <laughs> stunk <laughs> on ice. Can I, can, I, can I just stop the interview? Yeah. You, you can't let me slide. <laughs> I'm looking at Larry the Cable Guy, and I'm thinking the fucking Jim Carrey Cable. <laughs> but we didn't know that. No, oh. I am. I have an uncomfortable feeling to my entire that. body. I didn't you notice you could have just him along. I'm like, is Larry the Cable Guy Health Inspector the sequel to Cable Guy? Oh, I didn't even catch that. <laughs> oh, I thought you said to Dude, Larry the Cable Guy. I am guy, so like... uncomfortable. I just want to leave. Who cares? You humiliated yourself. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <I> didn't <laughs> really... <laughs> Thank God you guys aren't good listeners. Who cares? You humiliated yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. Honestly, we're back live. It really doesn't matter. I mean, the fact is, it was what nobody happened? noticed it. Yeah, yeah, true. Nobody noticed. I mean, how did we not pick it up? Because I, I had to uh, bring it to everyone's attention how how awful that was. That was horrendous. I'm sure I'll listen. All right, that's a couple. Would've... We'll go back. Um, we move on oh, to Anthony oh. now. Ah. Couple oh, from boy. Anthony. Oh, boy. I've had some... some of the big bombs and flubs of. 2009 mm. from Anthony. Some humdingers in my day, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, no. Threatened Jimmy with a, uh, well, you gotta sleep sometime, I think was the line. Mm -hmm. Which meant um, that Jimmy should have had his throat slit in his sleep by Jesse Ventura. Which you, would have been odd. You could yes. have sued, Jimmy. I don't know. For what? Dep sleep deprivation? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, Sue, go. I haven't slept since you were yes. here last. <laughs> I've been awake for 18 months, Jess. <laughs> But Jimmy always has a, a what he likes to call a tranny shield on him, just in case anybody comes in at night. Oh, no. <laughs> no, nothing. No, nah, it was funny. <laughs> I, I was tripping over. I know you were. <laughs> my tongue isn't working yet. You fumbled drunkly into the room with that one. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad one. I remember that one. I hate this. Bit. I, did, I, did, I, did, I uh, love this bit. I really, really it's one it's of my so favorite bits. Uncomfortable. Because really other shows, honestly, other shows don't do it. They don't showcase. Um, All right, Jim's uh, bombs. A couple of uh, Jimmy's bombs luck. before we get out of here today. Good. Luck. It's ten eleven already. Holy shit! Now, can you believe it? Yes. Oh, Dana White's in okay. town, huh? Yeah. UFC guy. Have we ever seen him live? I have. I met him in <laughs> Vegas, but he has not been in. No. He's just done phoners with oh, us. He's on right? the phone. Be funny if, it, if it's just an, a mouth come, that comes in. There's no person attached to it. Maybe funny wasn't the operative word. <laughs> yes, <laughs> horrifying might be. Wouldn't you just scream? It would be something. Ah, it's a mouth. I would. And it's always cool when you're bombing and somebody else decides to strap the plutonium to their chest and jump in. <laughs> I wanted to jump in and try to save you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I was eating. That was a good double bomb. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yep, I was fucking Hiroshima and fucking Nakakumiya had to pop along. <laughs> Oops. Let's do another uh, bomb from, uh, Ooh, from Network Jimmy. Good luck! Jimmy. <laughs> I should have that clip here every day, by the way. Ah, oh, Jimmy. Rock fucker. has decided that we don't really need to play that anymore. Why has he done that? Uh, Dustin oh, in Texas. Spoils. Well, who's bragging about doing that in Texas? Hello? <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Huh? No. Hey, Opie, I know you're reading the list, and I'm going to let you finish. But Anchor Man was one of the best movies of all time. One <laughs> we of got... the best movies of all time. <laughs> we got Kanye West on the phone. Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. There's like three different things happening at once here today. It's Dustin. Yeah. Yeah. Dustin. Yeah. Got yeah. It. Well, Apparently, the listeners got it, too. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was a good one, Jimmy. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Who would brag about doing that? <laughs> Oof. No, I, I, by the way, I threw out a monumental bomb. Oh, damn it. That nobody... I can't well, believe... catch it on the replay. Do we have it? Travis, I, I can't believe oh, no Travis one has it. Travis right now. He, was that uh, Travis getting it? Because he saw... Oh, 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 boy, did I? <laughs> oh, shit. Hang Hang on. On. Let's see I just got to find it. Hang on. It see, was no, I it. a... a it was a, a monumental. Oh, damn. I would have gotten the same reaction as if you were talking. I just rolled a grape on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. Okay, well, here it is. Because I had a bat in my kitchen, and I decided the best way to get rid of the bat was with my fire extinguisher. Just fucking pick it up and, and put I it with the glove and ball. Completely destroyed my <laughs> Wait, just do what? Pick it up and put it with your glove and ball. <laughs> you said that? I know. I'm embarrassed I even thought it. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, back live, having a lot of fun there. <laughs> but it was <laughs> falling glove, falling glove. You said that? <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. You want one more? 
Yeah. Uno Mas. From Network Jimmy. Favor. Because Roger Daltrey didn't write any of those songs, right? Wasn't it all Pete uh, Townsend? It was pretty much Townsend, yeah. Like, Roger Daltrey looks fine there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Pete Townsend. It looks like a ventriloquist with a Down Syndrome puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's back. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pete did write most of the songs, like My, my Generation. I, I, I like to fuck people not from My, my Generation. Because the kids. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's not what I mean. You want to come back in from the bathroom? Yeah, hold on. Come All back right. in. Yeah, come, come back, back in. in. That do a sitcom happened. entrance, too, Jimmy, please. That never please. happened. Jimmy's going to do uh, it could be a sitcom one entrance. of Jimmy's Take worst it. bombs ever on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Was he going for some kind of <laughs> stuttering joke? Jimmy! Uh, Jimmy hey, Jimmy's back. Jimmy's back. <laughs> I'm back. Hey, you're looking at the who? Yeah. I heard Pete Townsend wrote a lot of their stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't like to fuck girls from my ge ge generation. <laughs> See? I figured I'd bomb twice. <laughs> we can't allow that moment to pass. <laughs> Do the bit. Oh, ah. Yeesh. <laughs> yes, we're back live. That was um. <laughs> wow. That was monumental. Oh, I forgot God. that one. That was utter silence. Because I had a laugh, and I liked where my it was. It was coming from. He does didn't he write a song called My Generation? Like a place he doesn't. This, there was something there. I just I, that's one you should write. Yeah. Not say off the cuff. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I hear you. Too bad he never fucks girls from his generation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you can try it again now. My <laughs> ch 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 generation. That's why he stutters. He just, they're so young, he can't get it out. My ch 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 generation. Okay. His fingers are sweaty. You've redeemed yourself yeah. months later. Yes. <laughs> I hear you've got quite a cock on you. May I say it? We got ten bombs to do. Yeah. And only one from me. Wow. Because I don't take many chances. Well, how That's many flubs are there, then? <laughs> uh, one. <laughs> one flub. No way, really? Just because I don't take as many chances. Oh. I, I like to, like, you know, pick my spot. I like going with quantity and hoping for the best. I like to pick my spot. <laughs> yeah. Kind of... I let a lot and weave, and then I let a lot of balls go by me <laughs> before I, I swing at one. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> no shit. No. Oh, please. I catch it with my mouth and face. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. The first bomb is from uh, little Jimmy Norton. Bullshit. Uh, the author this is a fix. Of, Impossible. The author of I Hate Your Guts. Mm -hmm. Now on bookshelves. It is on bookshelves. It's always cool to see like hundreds and hundreds of these books because we get to go like. Uh, Behind the scenes of these bookstores, and they're just piled up, waiting to go on the shelves. Jimmy, very exciting. Yeah, it, it, I'm really, I am very psyched about this one. All right, here's uh, Jim uh, doing a little bombing. And he had to walk against traffic actually because it was uh, Columbus Avenue. And he said, "You know what? This is uh, safer than staying on the sidewalk with yeah, these animals faster, that are bothering me." Faster, yeah. So he should have just started running on the on the hoods of the cars with like the dancing in fame. <laughs> you know, I do the same thing. I, I have to walk Stop. against traffic too. Hold on. So many people want to buy my. <laughs> do the bit. Do the bit. Do the bit. I actually thought that was kind of funny. No, I think that conjured up an image. That's the, the new bit should be us not listening because I think that was a, a case of no one listening to what Jimmy was saying. I think I fucked up the way I. Uh -huh. When I said, I think I delivered the. the, the I tripped yeah, on a word. You lost confidence because you tripped a little. I at tripped first. on a word yeah. and it just wrecked the whole bit. Yeah. Oh, McCain's bitch and absentee ballots not sent to military in time for returns. That could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Military, uh, for the most part, yeah, they vote uh, third party usually. Clinton cast ballots for Obama. Of course. Nice. Hope so. All right. Here's another bomb. We go to Ann. Hey, how do you turn yeah. the economy around? Oh, that's easy. Comedy clubs. You, uh, you look behind you. You turn the wheel. I have no idea, and that's... Can we just have... Can we have something just... W which is called Buy Something Day? What? Oh, man. I hear... Oh, yeah. I, I almost don't want to eat my food. <laughs> almost. Do the bit! Man comes oh. back with a fadeaway uppercut. I just kind of put a jam in there at the end, but wow. Yeah. I, get, I love it when I, I say a bomb, and I just hear Jimmy go... Oh. <laughs> well, it was fun to hear Uncle Anthony do that. You just turn the... <laughs> turn the wheel and... Oh, Oh, well, I'm out of gas I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I fucking love these. <laughs> I know. They're great. <laughs> All right. Here's the next bomb. 
<laughs> oh, that's the Foundry Music that's logo. Stupid Foundry Jesus, logo. Steve. With like it, like it's your exclusive video. The thing's all over the place. If it was over your house, it would have been an unidentified phallic object. Oh, but uh, I'm wow, waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna move right on. <laughs> I was gonna move right on. You really were. out. Anthony moved on like he opened a, a bedroom door and caught me sucking a dick and then closed it and just kept walking. <laughs> Great party. <laughs> <laughs> me in a little pig mask. <laughs> Blown, getting blown by a fellow in a pig mask while a guy tries to kill his wife and some with an axe. What a fucking hang. It just closes the door and goes, yup, I always knew, and just ha, ha, continues on with his Move life. On. I don't uh, like the way Oh put on Ant what he would have said. <laughs> Here's the next bomb. 31-year-old Francesco Atera were arrested and released without bail. De Jesus is the principal of Sacred Heart School for the Arts in Mount Vernon. A third man possibly involved remains at large. I thought he was in Mount Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, uh, they, uh, they needed to get it all. Oh. Wait, can I ask who the guy at large is? <laughs> yeah. like, they're not going to catch him. No. <laughs> Let's go to, they left his penis in the yard. All right, you got me. It's fine. <laughs> The guy at large. Maybe he's the guy at small. Wow. Oh, he turned around. He's, he's facing away right now. That's he had to so turn around. Oh, my God. I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, what what the fuck does that even mean? Uh, you, that's a word. You then. dope from three months ago. You idiot. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? you? Go back in time and smack yourself. Oh boy, would I! <laughs> but what's funnier than a well-placed fucking Homer boo? Oh yeah, <laughs> God, is that great? All right, we move on with uh, bombs and flubs. Yeah, right, if you're right. calling the show today, you got to use big words, please. Uh, we want to up the, our game a little bit. Keith is super califragilistic, expialidocious. Douches. Yes. Right. Clutch, yeah. Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah. Boo. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know my scalp is tingling? <laughs> Do the bit. Do the bit. Uh, it just makes you really uncomfortable to hear these. Here's the next one. Another bomb. Because most business travelers <clears throat> have a, a carry-on yeah. or U.S. Airways. They stink anyway. Oh, U.S. Airways? They're terrible. Yeah, all right. Hey, let's uh, go back to Kent. Uh, this started with Fat Princess, the video game. Is it really bent? Uh, oh. Hey, what's up, wow. guys? Uh, <laughs> what's up, Kent? Wow. Um, <laughs> I, I went to uh, I went to E3 this year where they debuted this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're back uh, uh, to Jim. Yeah. And here's the then I will I will confess this when you answered a call today from a guy whose name was Ken yeah but uh, we thought it was Ken remember you said hey Ken and he goes it's Ken yeah I almost said is it so long it's bent and I didn't because he corrected it and said it's Ken oh. not from that joke so, so you were gonna do it again today I didn't even remember that I ever done it wow well there you go you that did. would have been this is humiliating this, this could be the best one of the of the batch. So the, the problem is, is that we don't. Uh, I want to put a fence down, and the neighbor says, "No, I cannot do it because that is on his property." And it's just this back and forth argument. I, I don't know what to do, Tank. Hmm. You have a dog. Oh, what a, what's that? You have a dog. I, I don't. I don't have a dog now. Don't have a dog. All right. Well, you should build the fence up and uh, build it around his car and the garage. Lock him in there, and then make him take it down. Alright, so build a fence. Let me, let me get this down. Build a fence around his car and lock him in there. Boo. <laughs> oh my god. Boo. Boo. Tank hacker stinks. Oh, he is the worst. Uh, build a fence around his garage and. <laughs> Do the fence. Wow. A bomb from uh, Jimmy. Sorry. What? Sorry, Jimmy. This must have been no, Dave Price dumped it. Impossible. I'm sorry, Jimmy. It happens. It's impossible. She just looks like <laughs> she, she is is terrible. <laughs> it really. I, it's I don't mind her ligaments, but she really looks bad. Madonna. It and almost looks like she has like uh, bicep implants or something, or shoulder implants. How do you get your shoulders like that? <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? Yeah, you, you're oh. a private chef. Like, look at her biceps, though. There's they're they're hanging. Over her elbow. Yeah, in shot. That one is... Nah. That's a uh, shredded that's, Ethiopian. That's, yeah, that's the look she's going for. 
Her name should be like Doc Pole. Yeah, I knew that. Holy Doc Jesus! <laughs> wow. To the man. Yeah. So code in the D. I'm very rarely embarrassed after a joke is so bad. I that was, I was really trying, bad. I knew what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even know what that could have possibly meant. I, I don't either. Back live now. Doc. I'll tell you what it equaled. Silence. <laughs> but I can't tell you what it meant. And finally, the last bomb for today. Billy in New York, how are you? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, what's up, guys? What's up, Listen, uh, uh, McCain's advisor, Warren something or another, wrote a book named The Lipstick on a Pig, and it explained how to use it in a political sense. How to uh, use the metaphor. Ah, fascinating. Obama's off the hook. Let's oh, make is, it official. The, oh, the guy's last name that you were talking about, by the way, was Peace. Excuse me? <laughs> wow. Oh. Excuse me? That was... That was a colossal bomb. <laughs> Do the biff. <laughs> the guy's name was Warren. <laughs> yeah. Peace, peace. Yeah, Warren, right now. peace. All right. It's a book. Good job. <laughs> yeah. We'll have more tomorrow on that. This guy's last name was Peace. What did I expect? <laughs> what could have happened besides a nothing? <laughs> besides a nothing. You like that? that, that, that. <laughs> it, reminds, it reminds Bobby of a, a time way back when I used to pre molestation. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me when I used to pick boogers and roll them on my upper lip. Oh, oh God. All right, enough. What what you a, is there a leaf in your soup? What the fuck yes, is that? Garrett. Oh, my God. teeth are happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. <Yeah, bro. laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, you want to hear it again? I want to no, hear it. Please let me hear it no again. Yes, I want to hear it one yes. more time. Please. Is there a leaf in your soup? What the fuck yes, is that? Garrett. <laughs> My teeth are happy. I'm gonna give you all. I'm gonna let you go. That got a silence that can't even be described. <laughs> oh, Jim! The, the satellite fell out of the sky. Silence, because we pushed our mics away to get to our machine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, we did. We just pushed the mics away. Get out of the way, way you stupid microphone! Oh, oh boy, damn. I gotta cleanse. Oh, I gotta cleanse the palate a little. Oh shit! No. no. <laughs> Dude, how does your ass make that sound? It's cute. Oh my, you have a kazoo how? ass. It sounds like little Nikki's because fucking production voice. <laughs> 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 I guess Bobby just heard Redemption. some of his production. <laughs> That's real Bob puke right there. <laughs> Redemption. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Pure shit. <laughs> you got some of that? <laughs>